Okay, mic check. One, two, one, two. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Welcome to episode 264 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, and grateful host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Rashid Sunflower is still here. He has not moved all his shit to Katana nope. yet. Got the, got the thighs <laughs> out today. Ooh, Ooh, he got me Katana. Ooh. I'm going to move to Katana. Ooh, gave him the camouflage yes. trunk-looking shorts with the knees exposed. And the calves. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't even <laughs> see the equality <laughs> ones. Wow. This nigga's stupid. <laughs> I never like, even knew you fought for equality until now. It's more. He did that with his own Sharpie. That's she. <laughs> he wrote that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, with the matching equality. Samo, where are you He's going? Not equality. Wow. Nah, they are. In they my, are. In my no, story. Because they're black and white together. Oh. Yeah. Um, see, so. come on, man. Yo, where are you where are you going in, in this in this uh in these dibs? Right here. Right here with you guys, my guys. It's hot out. And your shirt says no wife, huh? Marketing your, your personal life. <laughs> huh? That's not what I'm doing. With huh? the t- with the Tinder account under it. Wait, what a way Ra- Rashid, hey. swipe right. What a way to get to the ladies projected embroidery. <laughs> huh? I see you. No um, like I'm that saying what you're doing. I'm, sitting, out I'm there. saying what you're doing. <laughs> No, don't laugh uh, like that. Parks is here. Oh, yeah, Parks is here. Now Parks is here. Rory yeah, is here. Erickson uh-huh. is here. The niggas Say, is here. Savon, the Don. Huh? Yeah. Uh, what you and your wifey doing this? Huh? <laughs> doing the things y'all like to do out here. The fucking dog is here. <laughs> she has, a, she has a name. <laughs> the fucking dog is here. Young she has Brooklyn running around the house depressed, man. I'm thinking about just ending it for her. <laughs> fuck, right. damn. What the fuck he looks so sad about, nigga? <laughs> you can't end it for Brooklyn. Hey, nah. Wake up then. He up. Oh, all yeah, right. He chilling. That's my guy. Back Maybe then. bring him to the pod one day. Uh, <laughs> no, no, God. <laughs> that, that would be awesome. And let him destroy you know, I did, I did this entire place. No, I'm, I hope he I'm is glad. way too big for this apartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do he that. He would destroy everything. The TV <laughs> would be on the ground. Him and Cherry. Yeah, him and Cherry. is <laughs> not New Brooklyn wouldn't do that. New Brooklyn would sit right in this corner right here while I'm sitting here. I believe that. Yeah, you just sit there and drool. Brooklyn, oh, he's life. gentrified. Well, young Brooklyn, no, no <laughs> way. Brooklyn? No, no, hell no. This old, older, alone. Brooklyn. Yeah, young Brooklyn. Young Brooklyn, he's no, no, going no. to the garage. Yeah, yeah. In the cage, um, in the garage. Nude, 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 Joe Biden. No, 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 Wally and Ma. It's Parks. What's happening? It's Parks. What's happening? Uh, the- <laughs> Okay, so we got that out the way. I want to say what up to our Spotify listenership, our YouTube viewership, first and last time listeners, uh, haters and lovers. <laughs> what? First and last time. Yeah, so that happens. It was like, nah, I'm out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that happens more than we think. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm cool on those guys. Uh, I want to say what up to, God damn it, I had the delivery workers. Uh, yo, it's, we shouted out everybody already. Have we? No. no we probably missed somebody. So. No, we haven't. Not everybody. Well... Equality, so shout out to everyone. Like there you go. Ha, there you go. I, I tried to tell you that Joe was Republican. I know all lives matter, Joe. I, I get it. Wow. Mm. You know Joe's Republican. You start talking like this. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't come in here pushing these uh, these narratives today. No, it's cool. I see oh. your Cape Cod dad hat. The colors are changing. I see where we're going. <laughs> you going to go yachting this weekend? <laughs> Down to the vineyard. <laughs> Joe definitely goes to the, the vineyard. <laughs> Don't snicker at me, nigga. All right. <laughs> Fuck it. Why, that, why that's funny? You got a golf cart I'm, for the crib I'm, yet? I'm, wait, y'all laughing. Uh, n- niggas my age. Zay, I don't even know where Rory got this joke from. Me too young to know about when niggas was creeping to the vineyard. <laughs> when, vineyard. That, when that was the spot. Oh, my fault. That's where that you got low. That was the spot. Martha's, Martha's vineyard? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. It was. Okay. Oh, but fine. I don't want to kill the joke then. Go ahead. No. I never knew it was popping. <laughs> I know. For like I, know. The old I haven't been I've, been, I've been telling y'all for 200 episodes that y'all aren't cultured. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's a shock to anybody here. Uh, <laughs> going to Martha's Vineyard is culture? Word. Yes. Uh, last decade it was. Okay. Remember just like going to the Hamptons was? Come on, y'all. Come on. Y'all want to be honest? Y'all want to have some conversations? I kind of wish was that, that was still a trend. Cultured? Yes. Hamptons? Yes. The Hamptons isn't nice stuff? Is it still nice? Yeah, of course. Hell I'm sure yeah. the Hamptons is Hell still yeah. nice, but I mean, don't have the same pizzazz to it. Damn. Just like, not like all it, white parties every weekend. Like it, yeah, with the all but white. But all white parties are a little, like they're very literal. All white yes. parties. Yeah, now they're, now they're all white. <laughs> all white parties and art shows in the Hamptons. 
with fucking celebrities. Airbnb bidding. killed the Hampton flow because that yeah, was like yeah, the yeah. first Airbnb. Like niggas used to get a house, house yeah, yeah, and go up to the Hamptons for the weekend. But now you could do that anyway. So it's like, what's happening with uh, what's happening with Airbnb? Wasn't California trying to stop that? Everyone's trying to stop <laughs> it. Yeah, the hotel I don't think industry was trying to stop it. Yeah. Like, they can, you can't stop that. It's you like, can't tell somebody Uber. they can't rent their house out. Yeah. Landlords can. I, I I'm about to say. Though. I mean, yeah, you probably could. Yeah, landlords could. <laughs> some of them, pass a law. Some of them Airbnbs don't. Like, yeah, you can't get around it, but some of them have a very eclectic set of rules to avoid the rest of the building, knowing that it's an Airbnb. Oh yeah. Oh, you talking about like an apartment or condo? Or something? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I've yeah. I've definitely yeah. took got rented the Airbnb where I knew they weren't supposed to be doing this. Yeah. Like I had to go get the key out of a lockbox in a yeah. deli. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, wait, what? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're yeah. not supposed to be. It's like, don't talk don't, to the door yeah. guy. Like, just go yeah, straight up. Keep, yeah. keep your head down. If he asks you anything, you're my cousin. You're a white mm-hmm. dude. I'm black. This is not gonna work. <laughs> you're my cousin. Don't go out past 10 p.m. Yeah. Or just no coming wild. in. No strangers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't turn the lights on. No, <laughs> no sex. Sit, sit in the hey, dark. But the funny shit that don't even be the funny part. You agree to all of that shit because we from the hood. But the funny part be when the neighbors is hip to it and that, that you bump into the neighbor that's trying to get it out of you. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, what's your name? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I've never seen you before. Yeah, we got we got kicked out of an Airbnb in Atlanta for Palooza once because Shorty had sounds about right. Yeah, uh, of course. Shorty had cameras. I ev- want to buy everywhere. the behind the scenes footage of Palooza. <laughs> It'll be for sale soon. Uh, she had a camera <laughs> in every soon. single room and called us and, and was telling us what we were doing and who was there. Like the guy sitting on the counter in the kitchen, fuck, was looking through the windows. Oh, we were terrified. She's like, "No, I have cameras everywhere." I was like, "Damn, what if I was like fucking?" <laughs> yeah, she saw you. She saw that pale ass up in the air. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. Maul. It's the summer. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, a little tan. Yeah. Yeah. Sun's out, one's out, Roy. <laughs> Sun's out. Hot boy summer, you know what it is. Roy is, <laughs> no, Roy no, is definitely Roy sun's out. out. No tan lines over here. <laughs> Yo. You pull your shit over. <laughs> Rory got the speedo. Uh, no, no, hey, no, imagine no. going to the beach and a nigga pull his shit all the way down and lay on the stomach. <laughs> I would, I would beat the brakes off Rory. Yeah, I would beat the brakes off Rory. The break I, like, the Rory. The I live. If he walked in pulling down the speedo, I don't want a tan line, nigga. Wow, you no, guys aren't progressive. Crazy. That's funny as fuck. I have I have a pool in my building. It's about five hundred units in that shit. I just walk down in the pool, strip ass naked. Oh What's wrong? God. What's wrong? I'm tanning. Yeah, I know. Yeah, shout yeah, out to every, shout out to everybody in Edgewater without a pool, man. That shit, shit sucks right about now. <laughs> yeah, they can go to the spa in Edgewater. Oh my god, Sojo. Yeah, the new <laughs> oh, Runyon. Oh my god. Or you, can you go been to there that. yet? No, I haven't. I've been there. I heard it's but mad I- rules though, like. It was nice. Or you can't even kiss your girl in the pool. I went there like a year. No, and a half you ago. can't. No. <laughs> yes, I agree. Don't, I don't want you kissing your girl in the pool. Oh, yeah, I'm calling that too. Yeah. Am, I, am I Republican? No. Yes, yeah. fam. That's what you can't kiss in, in the pool. No. Yeah, How know. you tell somebody with fluids they... in the pool? Yeah, fam, fam. Kissing? Well, listen, I, I'm not even going through this with you. I, we've lived together. Yeah. And I no, nigga. I've seen you and in you, action and you in, got, in, in uh, you guys were kissing the little jacuzzi in the gazebo. Yeah, I've, I've seen the things the you gazebo. think should, should be allowed. That's the old me, Joe. Nah, I know. I've changed. I know. A lot. How many times you get that line off? Let's go to the gazebo. Oh, I see. every oh, chick was shit. like the gazebo. Yeah, they don't even know what it is. They, like they think I speak French all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the gazebo. Yes. <laughs> they start French kissing and yeah. really tie it together. Yeah. <laughs> Once they smell of chlorine, they know the water's like it's clean. Mm. Oh yeah, it's clean. Yeah, yeah. Y'all you know. kept that shit chlorinated. That's good, I, fam. You, you had to. <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah, it was bleaching all types of shit. Had to. Comet. Yeah. Ajax. Fabuloso. Vodka for good yeah. measure. Yeah, you got to disinfect all that shit that uh, Maul and Vernon them was oh, doing. Oh my god, I wasn't doing anything. In I know, I know, I know. Anyway, uh, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Fourteen minutes in. How, how we feeling? Did there's, Good, a heat, there's a heat wave in New York City. No, this is not a New York City podcast. Shout out to everybody listening from other places, I mean, Africa specifically. Is. <laughs> uh, is a heat wave going on? Yeah, there is. Hot as a Seriously. mother's. Well, you out of here. You you yeah. in L.A. right now. I'm in L.A. right now. Yeah. <sighs> Crazy. It's nice. Wow. It's nice. Damn. Nice change, change, change the tent. Yeah. Change nice. the forecast. Now we ride nice first class to change the forecast. Yeah, Never man. in bunches with your podcast crew. Mm. Just you and her. Mm. You've She's actually been to L.A. more than me this year. That's the I, funny. That's thing. probably true. Yeah. I'm going there next uh, next week as See, well. Look, look. I canceled the LA trip last week. I was supposed to go last week. For real? 
Mm-hmm. I'm going soon. Yeah. The whole pod is. Let me know when y'all going. Relax. <laughs> With Every, the U-Haul. Everybody simmer. With the U-Haul. Simmer. Come on, <laughs> Joe. No, Parks, we're packing this up. Come on, Joe. <laughs> and we're going. Why are you flapping your knees? That's like the drum roll, my bad. That's what that was? Yeah. <laughs> that was to get him to go to L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> No, oh, no, no that's definitely not, don't. That's not so appealing anymore. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere with you. Um, you don't want to buy a big crib and we can all just pod in the house that no, we live in. That's fucking lit. Way. That sounds like it's lit. The fucking real life entourage. Now, now we got some content. Come why, on, Vince. Why do you think I'm not Vince? <laughs> You're Vince. I'm not. I'm Joe. Um, and I don't watch entourage. I don't even get you little jokes. <laughs> you don't watch entourage? No, I only had to know what was going on when I was beefing with Saigon so I could diss him. Because he was an entourage. <laughs> well, look, at, look at the reasons you used to watch shows. <laughs> and I remember that before this. I remember your bar in there about him not getting a deal. And I was like, I watched the show. He got a deal. Nah, listen, man. <laughs> there it was, it was some killer lines in that. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to be on the receiving What's up with Saigon? Yeah, I was wondering the same. I don't know. I don't mean that in a bad Saigon way. Saigon should be all right. Yeah, I mean, he I hasn't just put out some music in a while. I, I was on, I was on. I, I'm, I'm saying he's like because I was on his Instagram page, but oh, okay. <laughs> that, that lets me. know I guess that's how you right. know somebody. Well, alive. not really. You still got to check on niggas because niggas be fronting like they alright. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I mean, on Instagram, Throw up the more whole times. Than, yeah, it's like fam. Like you okay? Rory said something just now. Not just now, and my memory's bad, so I don't remember what he said. But it made me think of. Uh, I wanted to ask y'all, why do you think most people have roommates? <laughs> Financial Money. reasons, yeah. yeah. Financial. We're not all. That's the number. We're one not all reason. above all right, get, all right, a certain now, now, tax bracket, okay, like you, okay, Joe. Okay, cool. Fuck another another reason is yeah, some. Do you hear do do how flagrant Rory is? What is Rory saying? <laughs> I didn't hear him. Some people need for financial reasons to get roommates because we're not all in that upper tax bracket like you and your croonies over there on the right wing. <laughs> the right, Makes sense. The right wings. <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> that didn't even sound right talking to me. Um. All right, what's roommates. the number two reason? Um, Boredom. Yeah, some people just don't like to be in the house by themselves. Yeah. And if it's an, enough space, you know, homeboy move in or a girlfriend to move in. For you to women. watch the dogs. Yeah. Okay, I didn't like know. Like, y'all always together. It's like, yeah, we might as well live together. I didn't know how common, how, how common it would be for people to have loneliness as the number two answer. Yeah, a lot, yeah. Of, pe- a lot of people don't like being in the house by themselves. Yeah. Like, they, they always want somebody there. Yeah, but living with your friends can... And the friendship real quick. Mm-hmm. Like yes. the first roommate I ever had was someone I had grown up with since kindergarten, and we were resenting each other over dishes. <laughs> Fuck a eighteen year relationship. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I took all <laughs> like, the dishes one time and hit them because Brian never washed the dishes. Yeah, you start <laughs> doing shit like that when you have roommates and they don't cover the end. Yeah, yeah. I've had some pretty horrible roommates. I don't see. I don't, I'm not. I don't mind cleaning. Like, Me either. I, I don't want to clean up behind nobody, but if it's dirty, I'm going to clean it. I'm not going to sit there and argue with nobody. Yeah, but when you're running around, you're out all day, all night, or something, you come home and there's just mad dishes. No, I understand that. Yeah. I, absolutely. Yeah, that, okay. that can cause a. Every day. Yeah, that can cause an argument. That's why sure. Maul and Corey were such good roommates, because they would just pick a spot and be there for the next three years. <laughs> <laughs> Corey didn't leave that room in That's Edgewater for five years. Corey's <laughs> in that room right now. <laughs> he still did. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Um, So I asked y'all how y'all was doing. Y'all didn't bother to tell me. And now we're 19 good, how, how are you I don't doing? care anymore I'm well Oh good I'm well man Divine Highly favorite How was the oh, um, okay. The guy's dinner Oh yeah It was good Yeah a Little night in the town Not so much It wasn't really planned The way Joe kind of Put it in the caption oh. Kind of just came together I love it when a plan Comes together yeah. That wasn't a plan Yeah <laughs> Well how'd I put it In the caption uh, You made it sound Kind of fly You did It was a good caption But that's what happened Berg was in town I said Berg We're going to Del Frisco At 8 o'clock Justice was in town. I said, yo, we going to Del Frisco's 8 o'clock. Uh, you was, y'all said, yo, I'm going to Del Frisco's 8 o'clock. <laughs> you called me. I was asleep. You was asleep. I, I missed the call, yeah. He didn't call me, but it's cool, man. <laughs> no, 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 you ain't invite niggas to your, uh, the uh, cookout back here when you bought your new grill. Yeah. Mm, or to the, we ain't had a lamb or rack sure. of yet. We ain't had greens. No, sure. We haven't met no. Jill Scott. Come on. <laughs> Dude, we haven't or, met or, Jill Or Black Thought. <laughs> yeah. or, uh, or Elvis Costello. Or Elvis. <laughs> Shit, we, bad, only, we, only, met, we only met Preem because of Ian. Right. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't meet Drake through you, and you were on the album. Wow. Yep. Y'all, no I don't think I met Show through you. He might have. What have I met? What are you here? How did you? <laughs> <laughs> How did you land here? How did you just, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Jesus, let's get to know each other for a second. I don't know much about Parks or Maul. <laughs> Who the fuck is Maul? Who, Rashid. Come on, man. No, come on. Yeah. Mad people want to know. 
Honestly, I'm, I'm you run you running around taking different hosting gigs. Like, tell us who you are. What hosted gig did I take? The master classes. That wasn't a ho- <laughs> I mean, you did you host. You were the host. That, that, I, did one, I did one time. You had a designer bag time. on. No, two. Nah, it was, it was, it was two, two shows. shows. It was a back to back. Well, they asked Because you sold out the first Ooh, one. Oh, got the master coming, and then it's back to back. It's back to back. <laughs> That's what you was in there. How you came out? What music you came out I to? I didn't come out to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't, dis- don't disrespect me like that. Holy shit. <laughs> what music did you come out to for the <laughs> magic? <laughs> you just walked outside. Yeah, really? Nah, no, he didn't. Nah, I got to see nah, your rider. He came out to some Rockefeller My shit. rider. I got to see your rider. Or... Hop, send me his rider. I want to know. He has to. I have to walk into PSA. Get the fuck out of here. I just, <laughs> just want to know his first line. How did you greet him? You Because you ain't say, good evening, students. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I told him, don't be ba- so quiet. Yo, was Bowdy so quiet. or Sensei. I said, Bowdy or Sensei. I I <laughs> Take your shoes off. I definitely heard you tell a chick to Bowdy or Sensei before <laughs> when, when I was trying to play live and y'all had them porno chicks running around <laughs> and none of them would fuck me. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. I can't picture you. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Kidding. <laughs> All right, uh, what was we talking about? That's the cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. That is the cleanup. <laughs> yeah. LOL. Mad convincing. And I'm telling you, I got to stop because people keep listening to this podcast, bringing up Bro, the lines. tell me about it. Fam. Nah. Tell me about it. Yeah, no, no, no. It's bad. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting off of that. Uh, what do y'all want to start? What would you gentlemen like? To, uh, oh, the dinner was good. Let's start here. The dinner, dinner was, was good. The dinner was good. Uh, yeah, yeah, so my caption happened. Yeah, that, we that's talked, how it happened. I invited we, niggas. We talked about splits. Niggas came. Oh. We had a very, <laughs> very interesting conversation. Very, very good conversation. I just think guys should do that more. Or maybe guys, I agree with Maybe you. guys have been doing that, and I've been the recluse. Yeah. You have. Yeah. Guys do that. You've done it a few times, though, I think. With just a bunch of niggas, like, not trying to invite any women at all? Like, oh, no, no, no. That's, that's what I'm saying. You talk about <laughs> splits? That's yeah, what I'm no. saying. Like, when the goal is not to even attempt to invite a woman. Oh yeah, no. That's not yeah. that's not he, the goal. He, many nights. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas yeah, don't like make... once a month though. Yeah, that's cool. Someone took the pick though. Uh, the only girl that was there. See, hmm. fucking little rascals over here. He man, women hate a club. Yeah, take <laughs> take the picture. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because everybody was at me till my mall took the pick. I'm like, <laughs> I wasn't outside. I wasn't outside. Nah, mall don't answer the phone when dad had daddy call me. Mm. Dad had yeah. If dad, if a nigga named dad had daddy call me, I'm definitely That's not. That's not what you have saved. No, <laughs> that doesn't pop up dad on your phone. Had daddy, <laughs> who you gave say? you that name? Him. Him. Oh, okay. Mark Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Hand down, man down. <laughs> Dad hat, dad's back. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. No. Mark Jackson. No. No, Joe Biden. All right, come on, let's talk about something serious. Twenty three minutes in. Uh, where, where would you? Where would y'all like to start? Actually, before you even look at your little list, Segway King over here. Y'all started earlier with I don't remember what y'all started with, but it made me think of. How y'all think uh, the influencers will be affected by this Instagram stuff? And then we touched on this a long time ago. <clears throat> What's happening in Instagram? They want to hide all the numbers. Yeah, no. they don't. Only you can see the likes. No, oh, the influencers are gonna stop influencing. No, they're gonna start taking screenshots of their likes and posting the likes. <laughs> That's a fact. Can wait for it. Their impressions. Mm-hmm. I just all, can't believe I'm, we in the we at like the world is so sensitive now to where they would have to ch- change something like that because other people don't feel. Oh please! That's smoke. That's, that's, that's yeah, such a smoke. That is a smoke and mirror, by the way. No, but I, I'm just I don't saying believe that. that for one second that that is oh, you don't any that, that's of that's the reasoning reason? for hiding metrics. Oh, I, 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 I know why. Metrics, it's, anyway. it's to block you getting money outside of Instagram. Now, if we want to do ads on Instagram, we're gonna have to go directly through Instagram. Uh, like the way people make money from companies it. is all right. I see how much engagement you get. Here's a dollar value to that. Because mm-hmm. we can see it. Mm-hmm. That's gonna kill. Now Instagram when you did, now line. when you take that out, companies will be like, all right, well we need to just go straight through Instagram for advertising. We can't really use influencers the way we once did. Mm-hmm. That's gonna kill Instagram a little. It's Someone else is gonna come out. With it's some gonna shit. make some more. It'll be more ads everywhere. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah, because don't underestimate the need for people to feel more important than they are. Right. Like oh, definitely don't underestimate like, that. I, now, like I that know, keeps the world moving. I know that we shit on that sometimes, but sometimes it's cool. Like. You don't want to just step on that for people. You don't. But I mean, with every with every company looking like they're trying to monopolize data, uh, and with every company practicing, uh, what did homeboy? What did Bob say? Uh, data suppression or science? The suppression of science or whatever the fuck Bob said. But I agree with everything Bob, Bob said. Who? Lazar. Uh. 
Mm, carry Come on. Come on, Parks. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, with everything. With it, damn, now I forgot what the fuck I was saying. What was I saying? Bob Death Lazar. Suppression. Yeah, but why, we, why was I talking about that? Data suppression. Bob Zar. Not seeing our likes. Oh, yeah. B- bottom line. Bottom line. Yeah. Data suppression. Uh, I was just saying I don't believe it, right? Mm-hmm. I don't believe it. I don't believe that that's the reason. Though you, will, though you will see more of the value of engagement rather than likes. Because you do see a lot. I've always noticed that with people that do influencer marketing. I'd be like, that's stupid. Why would you go to that person? Just because they, they have a million followers. They got about 100 comments. Meanwhile, so can, someone with 100,000 got you, 250 comments. It's, it's just, it shows the value of engagement and people that actually care about your page rather that's than what I was good people at. that just you follow. Can, you can still see the comments, though? Oh, monopolies. That's what I was saying. With I, all these I don't know. Com- I think... Hmm. I think you could still see the comments. Okay. I yeah, think you they can just still see the, the comments. The number of comments? I, Are they going to hide all numbers? For certain. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. I think they're only hiding the likes. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I think I was just about to talk about just companies uh, trying to uh, monopolize shit. And this move is right in line with my thinking already mm-hmm. of what's happening. So Got you. I'm not I'm not I'm not buying I'm not buying what they're selling. Listen, in man, that someone regard. else is just going to come up with a new social media shit for photos. That's what that Spurs innovation. That's what's going to happen. There will be a new Instagram. I believe that. That's that's all it's going to do. Or something like it. Yeah. I mean, I never really saw Twitter dying down, and it's, it's certainly... They not, really it's changed. not on its way but out, you know but what? it's, they it's really died down. That Has Twitter, Twitter that died much? down, though? It's rebranded. <clears throat> because I'm not... Like, when I do spend some time on Twitter, which is, like, not many days, mm-hmm. like, I, I still get the feeling, like, yo, this shit is still popping. Twitter's still popping. Yeah, so that's why I don't know if it died down. I don't. It died, I, I'm, I'm. It's just different than it was. It's, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm, so. it's I'm comparing it more. But to... But it's different. We're different. The world yeah. is different. Yeah. Like I, like I'm gonna judge you. I'm gonna judge you if you're still the same nigga from 2009. Oh yeah, tweeting yeah, yeah. the same yeah, shit, yeah, the same yeah. style, the same yeah. jokes. Like get that shit the fuck out of here. We mm-hmm. we not we not here for that. Like people also use Twitter. The for, tone is different. People mm-hmm. use Twitter for a lot of different reasons, as opposed to like Instagram or Facebook. Like there's a lot of different. You can use it just to watch news. You can use it just to uh, yeah. keep up with music shit. You can use it just to talk shit, make jokes. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? There's mad different ways to use Twitter, whereas Instagram and Facebook are much more like linear. Mm-hmm. With what you use them for, yeah, yeah. I guess when I say dying down, I mean more companies and what they're focusing on when it comes to social media. They're gonna mm. they're gonna put way more money into Instagram just because Twitter is so in the moment and it just keeps moving. It's hard to post something once a day and you really get traction the way you can with Instagram's algorithms, which is another reason they changed that shit was for ads. Mm. <laughs> like we're thinking that well, we're yeah, not they, seeing. They finally shit. figured out how to how to get some money off of the platform, like yeah. with all these ads. Yeah. Like they were late to the party with that one. Mm. All right. But they did it. Mm. Good for them. We were off on a tangent. I have no idea yeah. where we were. How, how we <laughs> that, was that was good, though. That was, that was, was informative. Up here. That was um, shit, shit. Uh, now that's got my brain to uh, equity. Come on, Maul. Tell me about equity. Tell me tell me about this. Because uh, of his shoes? That's equality. That's equality. Oh, my fault. Tough word. Sometimes I yeah. read those differently that's, as well. See how you did there. Yeah. yeah. No, um, Equity Rock Nation's uh, independent independent company, the, the new startup where you can own your own your masters. It seems like uh, I don't want to say it seems like United Masters, but it's b- built on the same. Well, everybody's building it's shit just, on that, and, and, and it's, all it's not, of those. Yeah. It's all the relationships are, are the same. Yeah. it's the same people. Got it. Got Wait, it. so what is the? I'm not even familiar with this at all. So you signed to this company? Is it like TuneCore? Because that's what, kind of what it sounds like. Like, what are they doing for you outside of what a TuneCore or a distro kid does for you? I, I don't know. Okay. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Well, off rip, Tune, TuneCore <clears throat> is just you, right? Correct. Oh, well, that's the difference. <laughs> well, that is a that's Pardon me, that's difference. difference number one. Yeah. So, this, is not, this is not just you. This is, I, uh, and I don't know much about the, the company. Okay. Uh, but I'm saying, this is, uh, it's not just you. It's now you have a team, but you get to own your shit. And I think that's kind of what happened with that kid that I wanted to talk about from United Masters uh, last week. They, yeah, they cut some type of uh, deal between both of them. I won't say no more about it. And all parties went. Okay, apparently. so what's the difference between that and Empire, for instance? What's the difference between... Like United Masters or Equity as opposed to like a, a strong independent label where you still own your masters, they're just distributing. <laughs> well, All right, hold on, I got, I got a quote. The company aims to do that by providing resources including digital strategy support, in-house marketing services, sync and playlist promotion, and publishing uh, administration. 
So when you sign there, they are giving you somewhat, you know, the bulk of what matters team. Okay. So basically that's like going, they, they're target basically. Once your product is in target, they put it in different areas. So okay. now it's all yeah. over the place. But that's to me what but, what empire. And I was gonna do. say it's em- their it's their empire to some degree. Okay. Yeah, empire, some degree. empire empire. Regardless of what they want to say, they are is a is a label with all of the departments that a label has. Correct. Yeah. With with a genius behind the wheel that all the labels are trying to get in their building. Mm-hmm. Correct. Shout out to him. Yeah. So, I, I don't I don't see that the same as. Uh, no, I'm saying more the structure of the deals. It looks like I, again I have yeah. to read more about this. I'm talking about the structure. Okay. As far as that goes, because you are, like with Empire, you're keeping much more of your shit and you're still getting a team, you know, they'll knock you off with a budget. It's not going to be the biggest budget, but right. it'll be resourceful. Well, sometimes, sometimes they don't do budgets. Depending on yeah. yeah, nigga, you're going to pay for your shit over at Empire. Right. Yeah. <laughs> be, 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 be clear about that. Yeah. And that's why Empire is so great, though, because, listen, you're going to pay for your shit, but your success is on you. Right. Yeah. Whatever right. you want to do, have whatever you want to put out. Is right. what you gonna get out of it? That's and, why. And in exchange, you keep more of your yeah. royalties. Correct, fam. I like that. Tiger. I love. I with, love Empire. With hidden taste out of the park on Empire it means yeah. a lot. They've had a lot of big records over there. So I know, but they had drums uh, yeah. and Yachty's they had all the way broccoli. Up. Was it called? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. was a huge record. Yeah, that was on the, Empire. All the way up was multiple times yeah. platinum. Empire came Empire. up pretty quick too. Yeah, they did. Well, because they offered it was. There was that middle ground of, of artists that wasn't necessarily can do it all by yourself, but also couldn't be on a major, and also right. didn't have their own independent company and team to support. So it was like a perfect, like niche kind of middle, middle ground. Yeah, for for that type of artist, and there was more artists like that than there were majors and straight. Yo, I do everything on my own. Right. To add to to add to that point, yes, I agree. I'm I'm of the belief there is always a a, a way to profit. Off of some extreme market that's being ignored. Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, that's <laughs> that's, that's, the that's game business. Of business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Actually, the other day I was uh, highlights came on, on on ESPN, and I was trying to figure out uh, a way to have some type of metal football uniform. You know, some type of stronger, sturdier sign. Bob Lazar got my brain in a whole. I'm shocked place, that man. they don't have better helmets. <laughs> like there seems better padding. I'm shocked yeah, they don't football? have better. Yeah. Sh- yes. How is technology not allowed yes, for a helmet yes. that will protect you from getting concussions? I agree. That's crazy I don't really think that you, you can protect yourself from getting a concussion. I feel like there's some I sort of shock take, absorption system. I think you system. can take better measures yeah. than the helmet that currently exists. Correct. <laughs> okay. That's I'm fair. sure they are developing shit, but it seems like it should move quicker. <laughs> that's fair. As mm. big as a deal as they make about concussions and CTE and all that shit, you'd think they would move a little... Faster. Well, the NFL has always tried to silence the matter of concussions and CTE. Well, that's a fact. So, and they are notoriously very slow moving. Uh, but I, I think well, at pro- some point they would be responsible. Some lawyer would find something. Uh, maybe that was the whole Will Smith movie, but I didn't see it. <laughs> they would find some reason to make the NFL responsible like, for that with a payout. So I don't think NFL is trying to find any more research on CTE. Got it. Well, no, I think they've come to uh, come to terms, some okay. type of uh, settlement. Mm. Mm. All right, enough of, enough enough jibber jabber. Where would you gentlemen like to start? <laughs> oh, I'm no 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 no. Let's not be silly. Let's not be silly. Nah, Queensbridge. Yes. yes. Let's start in Queens. Yes, we're in Queens. Yes. Hold up, man. Let me give some Nas some horns. This is not new Joe Budden. <laughs> I know. He doesn't have a new Nas drop in there. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait till I put these Rory drops in here, man.
That's that's Nas. There's just certain beats that Nas just that's nice. <coughs> cues like cues in on that. Yeah, it's, good it's the most over, effortless shit in the world when good he does this. P Rock again, man. But see, this is why hip hop is such and, a beautiful art form. Oh right. my God, can you talk about it, King? Tell, thank, talk cool about. Herc, thank you. Oh Word man, up. yes, yes. Thank you to all. Thank you to Herc. Thank you to Sed- Sedgwick. Thank you to all. See the parties, part. hoods, participants. Yeah. Word up, man. Brokes. It is. But see, yo, and not and not to be, you know, well, I'm always the weird guy, but this is a prime example of kind of why I wasn't so hyped when the him and Kanye shit was announced, and I got killed for that. Yeah, I got killed yeah. for not getting as excited as the world about it. But there's just some MCs that don't really require all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've I've heard Nas my whole. Do you? Did, who made this beat? P Rock. P Rock. Do y'all? Think- I don't think Pete Rock can provide a better beat than of, that. Of course, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, probably so. But Nas is and one of those no artists that, about it. Yeah. that needs like three instruments, and yeah. he's cool. Yeah, and yeah, man, that 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 sounds great. Yeah, yeah, Nas, Nas over simple production that let him breathe mm-hmm. is the Nas we like. And he doesn't have to worry about a hook. Yeah. Just let him go. Like the Swiss let him get locked It's just in. a loop. You know, this yeah. is just a loop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What just I'm go always crazy. what I'm always amazed at with these with the with the legends with these icons. Like, though I didn't like that last Nas project, mm-hmm. Nas been nicer than the world for our whole life. Right. And at it just seemed like at any given time, if I pick up a microphone, I'm going to be better than everybody still. Right. And I'm not attempting to be. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, like my point about the verb versus Lux battle, we was trying to wrap up. This is this is like. This is a walk, a walk in the park. Andre 3000 could come out of Target playing the flute. <laughs> in, 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 and in, everyone in, but in, me in, can in, meet a, him. in a onesie I haven't met him either I would me love to. oh come on man well, 3k what's up <laughs> come on man I be in Dax? Soho man uh, playing the flute come like play, I hang in Soho come play that flute at the pool party while that while some chicks toss some ass <laughs> toss some ass on you man <laughs> with three <laughs> stacks <laughs> playing you know he's gonna be in a three piece suit too yeah, <laughs> yeah. hot ass pool party but, or a mechanic outfit never know yeah. <laughs> whatever it is it's gonna be the drip Word, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only uh, he can pull it but off. yeah, he could put the flute down and and just be better than everybody. At he going to be able to do that at fifty years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hove, I mean, just all of those icons. We ain't got to go down the list, but that's I'm always and same with that. production with Pete. You know what I'm saying? Like simple little beat, but that shit works. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Legend, yeah, no, yeah. legends do legendary shit, man. Yeah, those those type of icons don't need much. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite record on the project. That you was know? a standout. So to I, me as well. I haven't I haven't heard this project. Uh, shout out to Ninth and Murs. I haven't heard. Uh, I haven't heard uh, you guys' album yet. I think it's only three records because I went to go look. No, it's full album. No. I then why know. did I? Why did that pop up you on found, my you phone? You, you got to connect to the Wi Fi. It's eleven. Ah, okay. It's eleven songs. <laughs> Damn. Probably. Didn't. I was. I was on LTE. You got to finish buffering. <laughs> <laughs> Get other songs in. Nah, that's, yeah. all I, that's all I was getting. Upcoming. That's album. a different. Nah, that's not the right oh. one. All right. That, Anyways, yeah, Ninth and Murs. I'm gonna yeah. listen when I get a chance. Me too. I like their live. They did like three already. I think maybe more. Murs 316. Murs Revenge. Uh, I'm missing one, but they yeah. always they always make great projects. They do. Um, somebody else put something out that I wanted to hear. Maxwell speaking of a three song project, but a little EP. I'm Maxwell, Maxwell, yeah, Maxwell, 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 Maxwell. 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 Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, yeah. How did I not know you don't that? Tell me yeah. no shit like that. <laughs> Don't tell the God nothing like that. Maxwell, yeah, hold up. Well, I, mean, I ain't listened to it yet. But before I got we it. before we rush through everything, right? We back was doing Nas. Yeah, you you didn't get a chance to listen. I, have, um, I haven't heard it yet. Have, has everyone here heard the album? I listened yeah. to it one time. Yeah, I, listened I listened to, to it, it twice. Yeah. Now, now, Maul, you know the rule is we only they ain't even supposed to be talking about this, this album right now. I know. Or so don't I so don't, I can't I don't can't, condemn me for not no, no, having no. heard it. Yet. Absolutely, and I don't even want to. Go in on it because I only listened to it once. It's been out for ten hours, so yeah. I don't, I, yeah. I can't. Yo, when people give the quick reviews, yo, I don't, I don't hold people hostage to any one moment in time in their brain. Mm-hmm. No, like, right. you can change your mind. It's, it's perfectly fine. Some shit could grow on you. Shit could sound better in a different environment. Oh yeah, I've, I've come on like, the show and and walk back some comments I made about a few records, and I was like, nah, that should the uh the the schoolboy record. I killed that record when I first heard it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. num num juice. You walked that back, back fast. Too. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. shit is hard. Like when, after I, 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 I after he approached you with them golf clubs in the, in the, in the club. <laughs> yeah, you changed your tune quick, <laughs> quickly. You he didn't want you. no golf smoke. Whatever. Good record though. Good record. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like the. I think there's to me off two listens. There's like seven records that I like a lot. 
Yeah, the, the standouts or two of them with no bad energy. The lost freestyle that Static did is is really really good. Yeah. Um, I think the outro, beautiful life, is really good. Queens Rich Politics, which we just played. Queens Wolf is dope. Uh, the Swizzy records is, is cool as well. I gotta really like sit with it because Nas isn't one of those two listens. Let me tell you about the album type Agreed. artist. Definitely not Nas because he's talking about. Yeah, but you wanted you wanted him. Let me sit with it type niggas anyway though. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I'm, I'm just starting to appreciate the Crit album. It took me a, a lot of listens to get Another all of project. that. Yeah, yeah, that, gotta, Crit album, that, that Crit album is really, really, really good. Yeah, good yeah. project. Really good. Yeah, yeah, I only listened to it like once. That I have not gotten to the Crit album. Yeah. It's, it's, you would enjoy it. It's too much music, It's been man. a lot in the last couple of weeks on the low. That's why you no, keep saying no has, I'm yeah. like, fam, it's a lot of fucking no, music I'm not, out. I, when I say there's no music out. No, you said... We've said it a few times on the show, like no mu- nobody's putting out music. No, we, we just was talking about that specific week. Yeah, yeah, but they like make up for week. it. They make up for it. Yeah, yeah, because they pay you with eight. Yeah, so that's the on, only fam. problem I, that I would have as an artist with these with the surprise drops. I know that's the only. It's only one. There's so many pluses about it, but I would be mad if I just planned for six months and now ninety of you niggas want to drop on the same day. Right. Move, get out of here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of who else dropped, uh, Maxo Cream album came out. I really I haven't listened to. It. I downloaded it. Maxo's really. Dope. Oh yeah, that's the album. That's the album that I listened to. That, wait, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where we started. Straight to Maxo. Like, no, Maxo. Maxo's nice. No, 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 I like him. I love I like Maxo. Him. Well, no, I, I, st- I started with uh, uh, Hove and Beyonce right. and Childish. Okay, just the song. Just the song. Right. Okay. I didn't get into the entire album. And how did I get into Maxo shit? Maxo's nice. He's though. Dope. Oh, you know, you know why? Because I always look for my surprises first. Mm. Okay, and that would that would be one of them in my opinion. And he and the I, branded I, banks and I, and he and the picture artwork worked. Mm. Yeah. It worked. Mm. It jumped. It jumped off of the phone. Yeah, it mm. looks cool. Yeah, so I, I played a few of them shits. And he had some good features on there. Yeah, good features. They, no, he's right. Schoolboy school killed right. that nah, feature. They doing that. They doing that. It's that flow. Yeah. That that shit that they do. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think Mike Dean did the whole album too. So, yeah. Uh, that is a cute little flow that all these all the kids are doing. <laughs> Which one? But Maxo doesn't. Oh, the flow is, Maxo goes rhymes. in and out of that. He doesn't always uh, stay on that. Maxo, Baby, Cardi, Meg, uh, Dirk. That bounce. That, that certain, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's twenty one. It's, it's a bounce, but you have to be able to. Drake rap. does it yeah. sometimes. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like they yeah, they got rid of mumble rap. Like yeah. they they rapping. Yeah. They found a nice balance of. No, it has to be the bop. Right. You know the bop I'm looking for, and I'm going to just, I'm going to go. I'll kill it, though. They're going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I saw somebody say Meg the Stallion has too many words in her fucking rhymes. I'm like, fam, <laughs> fam, fam, what? fam, Who said fam, that? fam. One of these fucking bozo yeah. fucking goofies. Too many words? <laughs> yeah. Meg the Stallion? She in the pocket, boy. Like. Yeah, and she don't leave it. Word. <laughs> like, Juicy, yeah. like Juicy J, like, like yeah. everybody that she said taught her how to rap. Yeah. See, it's yeah. just she riding that. Yeah. yeah fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm I'm all over the place today, guys. No doubt, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But Mo, you'll you'll fuck with the Maxo joint, yeah, for sure. Yeah, let that bump in Katana. Let's <laughs> <laughs> on the flight. Hove sequenced that. I don't know if I was allowed to say that, but yeah, no, no. What Maxo shit? Yeah, Hove sequenced uh, Maxo's album. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hove's all over the place. Man. <laughs> Where does he have? The I, by time? the way, I probably wasn't supposed to say that, but whatever. Oh, uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you risked it all for us. <laughs> the, the sequencing credit. Yes, Ooh. you were killed. The sequencing credit. That's Secret illness. society. Oh, yes, because trust. Hove is one day meeting the royal family, and the next day sequencing Max O's album. And it's the, amazing. The that's range. Dope. The range. Yeah. The range. It's all over the place. <laughs> now nah, that's hard. Uh, where we where we at? Uh, still new music. Well, d- you only listen to one off the uh, Beyonce Lion King thing. I gave it a quick. I really got to listen to it. I listened to the whole thing. Uh, one time, though. But we were somewhat right about the Afro Beats Beyonce. Yeah, we knew that. Absolutely. Was uh, yeah. The standout was the, was it Brown Skin Girl? <laughs> Tell us, Rory. With St. John. Now that Beyonce Nile shit with Kendrick. Move, move forever. That Nile shit should have been. Stay right there, Rory Stay. <laughs> the beehive gonna fuck you up I see why you wearing, you wearing that yellow hat on purpose yeah, no, yeah. Yo Rory is our label guy mm. Oh yeah I'm He's our man. label insider He's our uh, party As soon as you start tell us who, telling us who sequels and shit yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's our nightlife Come on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let role. you get that off But you, you talk to the labels way more than I talk to the labels 
And it's that, not e- and now, it's not even close. That I would agree with, but I understand what Joe is saying. Like when the labels call me, it's typically a beef. Like <laughs> like me They're and Kaiser t- argue. Mm-hmm. I told y'all last time Joey hit me, it was to say I got my the, the hottest label shit all wrong. Mm-hmm. Like these niggas be calling me the beef. Yeah. <laughs> Cam don't beef because we beefed enough. <laughs> he's, he's had his uh, fair share. Yeah. <laughs> I followed Ethiopia the other day on Instagram. See how that goes. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Follow back? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Probably not. <laughs> but the labels hate me. All right. Ethiopia shouldn't hate me. I love her. She's like family. I know. They all are. The family tree, though, that's why, yo, when, when you've been in the business for a little while, it's just... It's crazy to look at where everybody goes. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking about that the other day. Damn. Like, honestly. Shout out to Shari. I can't say what, but shout out to her. Okay. That was that was, Yo, you that was worse than my sequence. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. That I was didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I, didn't, I just said shout That's out. That's why Shari. it was worse. Yeah. Shari, I love you. That's all I'm saying. That's why it was worse. Like I'm gonna get that big ass. I, I, mean, I got a real nice picture of. I think I posted it, but nobody knew the significance of it, but probably me of me, Meg, and Kev. Like mm. it was nuts to me mm. that. Yeah, now you come with your hot popping artist to my interview after all the beefs me and you had about me even being the interview guy after you signed me like like that it's just not changes life oh yeah. my jesus Gross. mary and joseph man yeah, yeah. No. how do we get on that uh topic because i wanted to i wanted we're, to expound on that beyonce we're talking about the beyonce album. yeah but who were we who were we oh ethiopia yeah man like <laughs> niggas is in people are doing all right yeah, yeah. That's it's dope. beautiful, yeah. and that's dope because they were saying when I came in, the life expectancy for the for the guy that actually works at the label and is behind the scenes is pretty short too. Mm. So I mean, they just it play, probably they still play musical is, chairs. I know that's why you got to salute niggas that's like that, that. Sav, yeah, 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 Kai, mm-hmm. or just anybody that you know. Yeah. This is a long, this Rory. is a long ten. Rory, come mm-hmm. on, man! <laughs> Round of applause. Come oh, Rory, on, Rory got Rory. In his spicy bag the other day. His tweet, so his tweet, ten years, oh, ten years in. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't see it. I didn't see it. And I want the applause to stop so I can hear. <laughs> oh, you didn't see it? Rory. Oh, yes, man. I want to hear. Nigga, Rory got in his bag. I, I, I yeah. wanted to call you. I wasn't going to comment on it. I'm, listen, I'm, I still stand by that. No, I, I'm okay. with you. I'm, look, now. See? Time for Rory Spice. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, producer. Nah, Rory, Rory tweeted, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm 10 years in and I'm still under 30. Mmm. Mm. Let that one mm. marinate. Mm. It's a Sean Bar. No, I know. Come on, man. I Come on, Rory getting bro. his shit off. <laughs> I was going to call you. I was like, Rory, get your shit off. They threw Queens Wolf in right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I was listening to the album. Wait, what? Did, uh, hold on. <laughs> Those were two, two totally different times. No, time. they weren't. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think <laughs> so either. Related. They were about five or six hours away Doesn't from each matter. other. <laughs> but, then, but hold on. He tweeted that. Took a screenshot of had the to put tweet. It, had to put on the IG. And then put it on the uh, ground. Yo, Rory's time out. Let's stop right this second. I, let's take this time to address you niggas to do that. Outside of Elliot Wilson, all of y'all are losers. <laughs> I lost. Keep it I've separate. Done it a few times. Damn come it. on, come on, man. Don't do that. Yeah, I've done it a few times. But why Joe, only, Joe, only, only when I'm Joe showing that we're losers. I, show, I, I was. I said months Shut ago up, where <laughs> certain players were going, and then I was right. That's it. Just to show the, the time stamp. Like, nah, see, I guess I'm on. talking about niggas that do that on the the quick. I yeah, 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 yeah. You just tweeted that. Now you right over here. Like, fam, what are you doing? Yeah. Like I follow you over here. <laughs> yeah, I follow you. I'm just over there. Yeah, relax. <laughs> I've never been a big fan of like words on Instagram. Like when they used to do the little notebook joint with all the you know some oh, speech oh, on tweet, there. Tweet, tweet, it just looked ugly. I used to hate tweet that gram. Shit. Yeah, I don't want to read things on Instagram. It just looked ugly. Yeah. I want to look at pictures. But that yeah. that was before uh, chicks started figuring out how to pop it. <laughs> <laughs> they were in training at that time. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, that's when all there were some trailblazers. No, nah, no. Nah, come on, y'all. Re- y'all remember that few year stretch when all the porn stars just retired out the blue? They wasn't getting the money they were supposed to be getting. It's before we had our cam soda. Mm-hmm. Let me let me name all this shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then technology caught up. And bitches came back. Yeah, you had to. <laughs> they figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jay Defy and text me once cam soda came. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jay the Fire never text me again. Oh no, you want to see me? Yeah, yeah. get your yeah. tokens. Get your yeah. tokens. Yeah, I didn't even go. Hey, Queen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what was we talking about? <laughs> so Joe said, what time are you going live? <laughs> oh, they'll tell nah, you now. Nah, I was I was texting this yo Skype now. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> The Skype days. Ooh. Skype was a dirty, you had to have dirty. game to get a chick to stop what she was doing. Open up the open up the uh, computer. Yeah. Get the Skype revved up. <laughs> Skype. 
Skype. Oh man, that was a filthy app. I downloaded Skype to my phone. Me too. That's how thirsty I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fuck this laptop. <laughs> Word. Listen, you had to see me in the sidekick days. Yo, beam me. <laughs> Yo, you got a beam? You got beam? Yeah, beam that was me. the shit. If you ain't, a, oh, you ain't got a beam. <laughs> yeah, that was the shit. Yeah, come on, man. The two way. Yeah. Yo, you and your DDM family pins. really brought a lot to hip hop. <laughs> they didn't bring that to hip hop. Yes, he did. Oh, he did not. Motorola two way page me. Or pager. That's Motorola his. was a company. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Nah. Not at all. Nigga said, nah, nah, it, no, wasn't a, nah. it wasn't a company? No. Oh, right. No, it wasn't. Right. Okay. Not so whole yeah. did it. Oh, uh, okay. yes. Owned by the Burks. <laughs> no. No, it's not. <laughs> Salute. There's no. Yo, I see, Yo, who I seen Bert, Dame. Who is Bert, uh, Big Stylist, man? I have to know. Um, I, 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 I start no, feeling uncomfortable lot. about the, the amount of pics I like of him. Like, this nigga look good. On t- <laughs> <laughs> he, he is dressing. He came out and started killing him. B- Biggs do a lot of that shit himself. Biggs is fly. You know what style is? Yeah, a lot of that shit he do, he do himself. Yeah, Biggs is fly. I seen Dame put an Instagram caption the other day. Bottle service killed everything. <laughs> Fam, no, y'all killed yeah. everything. <laughs> Dang, Dame was the first Dang. bottle service. Yo, y'all did that. that. Dame was the first bottle service. Yeah. He was the first bottle service for sure. Yeah, that's y'all why bought you... out a bar. No one could even go get a drink. Yeah, nah. <laughs> no, all the, all all the just, champagne. Everything from the bar is gone. Yeah, all the champagne. That's why I fuck with Jim. Jim, Jim, every song gonna tell you how much you hate this b- bottle girl. <laughs> I like that though. I like me that too. energy me right too. there. Yeah. Me too. Get, get away from me. Little bottle girl, keep my bottles cold. What he said? What he said? Oh, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, Jim. The fun, the, the funny shit. The funny shit is we done been in enough different clubs around the country. The the bottle girls know it. Like, yeah. They know niggas like they don't. They don't even hold the sparklers up high and no. proud no more. <laughs> they right, kind of no. tuck them. Yo, you want this? Right. <laughs> nah. No, nah, you know we don't want that. Yeah, yeah we can get I, the sparklers. I can pour this myself. Yeah, we can get off the of sparklers though. Yeah. It's time. Who's doing shots? Just put it down. Yeah, don't yeah. even yeah. yeah, they don't even make the drink. <laughs> yeah, like just put Would it you down. like something? No, you go put it down. I got this from here. Yeah. I invited my friends for a reason. Yeah, I, I wore the yellow dad hat for something, baby. <laughs> Not for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yellow's when I spice it up more. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I bought I bought seventeen different black dad hats. I didn't even look at what was on them. I just looked at the ones that fit right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah, because you need the right cup. That's it. Yeah, you need that, a deep cup. It. I don't yeah. give a fuck what they're talking about on the front. Yeah. Uh, all right, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Music, but I think we covered, no think we covered the majority here. of it. No, y'all didn't talk about what you think about the whole Beyonce and Childish Gambino record. Uh, I think Beyonce smoked everyone on the last verse. Hove included. She got in, she got in her, her braggadocious shit. Yeah. yeah, she did. She was rapping. Yeah. Not I, like, I like Beyonce person. rap. Me too. Yeah. I like the album, though. The album's good. The Lion King album? Yeah. I, that Kendrick... And Beyonce song, right when it gets into its shit, it ends. Like yeah, that song really should short. have been six minutes long, not a minute and forty seven seconds. Yeah. I, yo, if I were anybody in the music industry, I would be so afraid that Kendrick has just been chilling. Because <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been chilling. I, I know. In, I know. In the industry, like you know, it's a competitive genre. It's a comp- competitive sport. So you're not really allowed to say to niggas that you kind of you kind of watching. Mm-hmm. As an artist, you watching to see who's laying low. Yeah. Who's who's working? Who's like me? Hopped on that beat quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no. He found the dude quickly. Go Twitter. <laughs> Twitter's good for that. Yeah. The dude came through quickly, and there were vocals on it quickly. Mm. That's to be applauded. I'm applauding that. We don't see that anymore. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Yo, the, I love yeah, that. But that used to be the norm. That's the crazy thing. But I love the evolution of Meek. I almost wrote under one of his pictures, the, uh, whatever that song was, what he was writing to, but I almost wrote, yo, you are getting so much fucking better. I just thought it would be taken wrong. So Yeah. But, it definitely yeah, was. Yeah. I can see why you would have been on that, Shade yeah. Room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not Because people that. are stupid like that. But yeah. the lyricism is, is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good to see niggas improve. I think that so, comes from so many different years after so many years in the process. I think yeah. that comes from uh, and Tyler it, said that I'm all over the place. Seeing <laughs> seeing things, experiencing shit, uh, living, living life. Ex- you know, just traveling, um, learning new shit. I think that helps with any. I mean, you would know that helps with any writer. Yeah. Whether it's you're rapping, singing, like poetry, just experiencing the living helps your pen. And I think Meek has been through so much shit. I mean, he has. He's had a lot of time to, you know, be in his brain and, and, and think about shit. But, yeah, he looks good, too. Like, his whole style, the way he changed. And he, look, he looks good, man. No, he's doing it right. Yeah. He is doing it right. Um, I'm all over the place today. What well, do you want to get into? Uh, 
I Tyler's interview? Into, I was getting into something before I got into that Meek shit. The Meek shit was like sidebar. Yeah, and it, yeah whatever. <laughs> uh, Tyler did an interview. Uh, oh, we're at? With, with, our fav- with our favorite Dead guy. Dead man or Dead man. Oh, okay. With home, uh, homeboy. <laughs> Brand but, X. But there was, a, uh, there was a clip that seemed to be going viral. First week. And again, Rory's really exclusive. No, it was, it's all over the internet. That are an exclusive. <laughs> art in that album cover, in these videos, and me doing this suit wig thing, beat, and this is no disrespect to Khaled or anyone, but this thing had every person in the industry, everyone on that fucking album, everyone, everyone, Cardi B, 21 Savage, Travis Scott, Post Malone, Beyonce J, everyone who sells billions of records, and the fact that I beat him with this, that isn't parallel to all the popping music right now m- was fucking crazy, bro. It, are you serious? <laughs> like, that was insane to me. And it's new to me, bro. I'm yeah. on album five and six. Yeah. I'm spiced for you. And it's worth it. All right. Do well, a little spice back. It was taken that way, but I don't think he meant it that we way. We know Tyler didn't mean it spicy. Yeah, yeah I agree. I don't think he was downplaying Khaled shit. I think he was just comparing having the monster machine and every single person that sells records on there and, and then me ex- yeah. doing something all by myself. And it's not a, a slight to Khaled at all. Yeah, and we got to stop just, that. Well, like, yeah. Why I can't big up myself and <clears throat> tell you why I feel good without somebody else being slighted? Yeah. Like... Sensitive error, man. Yeah. And Tyler is one of them dudes that's gonna watch his words carefully. Yeah, like he ain't gonna he ain't gonna go out his way to offend you. Right. I mean, my thing is sometimes you no, just gotta look just at somebody's you. track record. <laughs> Tyler doesn't bother anybody. Like he's not Except the guy. Except Joe in an elevator. He he's not he's not <laughs> the guy that's just gonna like stir shit up for no reason. Yeah, certainly not at this point. In his or go too. at somebody and try to like you know what I mean create some bullshit tension or something. Like he's not that. He doesn't have a history of that. He's he doesn't do that. I just appreciated being able to see, like, like, like he said, and like we just spoke about. He said, "I'm five, six albums in, and this is a first right. for me." Right. And I feel, I feel really good about it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, especially being that I went against all of y'all, like I went against the Avengers. Right, right, yeah. He, he should be allowed to feel good about that. Absolutely. Yeah. And he put out a fuck of an album. Yeah, he did. See, really that's the, see, that's the other part. We don't really want to hear all, all, all of your tooting of your own horn. And I feel like it's getting if lost. The music ain't right. Yeah, right. And, but his yeah. album, the the how good his album is, is getting lost in this shit because people are not even talking about the music no more. The people to, that, to the me, people it's that album don't want of the year to. so far. Yeah, right. the people that don't want to talk about it. See, and that's why you gotta love people that just build and continue to build and build and build upon their own fan base. And his is so large, it don't really matter what the people outside of it are doing. <clears throat> the people outside of it are on this Khaled shit. The blog sites they on this Khaled shit. This the, his shows don't look like that. <laughs> right. His, his fans they're not thinking nothing about Khaled. No disrespect to him. No, right. but it's a whole no. different yeah. fan. It's yeah. a whole different fan. Yeah, whole 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 different wave, man. Um, good for Tyler. Yeah, yeah. he deserves. I it. ain't like that. That he did the interview with Homeboy, but whatever. Yeah, I'm hating. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know when you're hating. <laughs> That's important. You, you fucking right. Very much so. You hate him. <laughs> <laughs> He's aware. Um. All right. More music. More music for your head tops. <laughs> there was a lot of music that came up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In flux. What we got, Rory? What else? What else happened? Come on, label guy. <laughs> <laughs> got a. Con- Who sequenced this one? Yeah. Conway and uh, Eminem. I'm not the Griselda insider. That would be more. So I don't even know if this is really my area. All right. So yeah. Yeah. You got a good point. Uh, more. He's right. Well, who sequenced this one? Uh, well, it's only who one sequenced song. one record? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's only one yeah. record, fellas. Who, who sequenced it? I'm yeah. going to say Conway. I'm saying him. Okay. 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 Well, let's listen.
No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No, M gave him a lot of bars. Yeah, I figured yeah. I figured he would. That's the, what you would want to hear. The, yeah, the great the, the great rappers inspire the great rappers. Yeah. So you can't. What is what's what's M's infatuation with wanting to change the beat so much when he raps? I think he's I, been rapping for so long that I don't want to say he's bored, but he's done everything. I think that's just how creative his brain yeah. is. Yeah. Like think, he wants to do new things. I think Eminem's brain is more creative than a lot of the creatives mixed with. I have my own theories about you know, the uh, the brain and certain drugs and you know yeah you hear things differently that with creative people yeah I do I do believe that that's what it is with him and I think spending so much time with Dre that but that'll change how I you think, look at beats I think yeah, what we, we said about Nas about hit certain beats that are just I think for him that's true yeah but the part that that gets lost on M as it should in his uh, superstardom is he made his way on probably like Rory said watching Dre do that to different beats or on a specific type of beat Mm -hmm. I think the beats that inspire him or the rappers that inspire him we like different beats like that was a big beat for mine with Slaughterhouse like I know that you hearing Slaughterhouse on some of these Slaughterhouse's beats and you rhyming in your head Mm -hmm. the same way I know you heard that mm-hmm. right. and you have no choice to rhyme in your head the same way that Lux and Hollow is riding around in a car listening to that to prepare for their battle it puts a rapper in a certain mindset mm-hmm. is what I'm saying and I don't I think M is too big and just too powerful to say and too successful to say okay maybe they want to hear me on that <laughs> right. yeah Okay. And that's a Joe breakdown. I didn't get that from anywhere. I'm assuming. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, well, no, I was excited when I saw that because I do want to hear M on the it's Derringer. Dar- of, of course, he's done a bunch of Alchemist stuff before, but I feel like Al goes in a different direction when he teams with Derringer on the Griselda stuff. And I would love to hear M on that. I would love to hear a whole 50 album where Derringer and Alchemist did everything. I want to like. There's certain rappers I want to hear specifically on the Griselda type beats. Right, right. And M, M is one of those. Yeah, anyone that's an elite kind of rapper. Yeah. Beats like that that are open. It's I want to nice. give um, I want to give him some credit because are you dick riding. The <laughs> <laughs> shot, bro. See, that's why I'm waiting till these drops. <laughs> I'm gonna cut his ass. Pause. Uh, I do want to give him some credit because that ver- he sounds great. Yeah, he did something. yeah. Which says to me what it's always said to me is it's not the flow that everybody has a problem with from him. Uh, sometimes I think it is. Well, slow down. Hear me out. Okay. Because I know what you're saying, and you're right. A lot of times, the flow is what people complain about. But to me, it's the content which alters the flow because yeah. now you're looking for certain spots to rhyme the intricate rhyme schemes that you're doing, and what you're saying, is, it has to lack. Also, the production, too. Like, if you're picking certain types of beat on your own, you might be trying to do too much with it flow-wise. Whereas yeah. a simple, like a Derringer type beat that's a slower, boom bap, mm-hmm. open, you're going to just do your rap Like shit. this beat was, I think this beat was so Griselda, right? We all agree this beat is very Griselda. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And Griselda, to me anyway, is slow tempo. Yeah. yeah. You can't even do that shit that you're trying to do on this. You can, but it may sound yeah. a little... Yeah, it's a triple yeah. time so, to try to go so, with the slowness. So <laughs> for him to space out the flow... So now you have to say whatever you have to say something. Right. That sounds great. That sounded great. Yeah. yeah. That's all. That, that's all and I got. No, I, I think it's good, kind of to your point of how meticulous and creative he is, because I don't think people realize how like M really engineers his shit, really produces his you shit. You dick eating right now. I know I am. <laughs> uh, I think it's great when artists that do Low do leftovers. That, yeah. Right. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> Step out and just go on someone else's beat and just rap. Yeah, like I think Cole when he did all the features that was great because Cole does so much of his beats in production like just step away and just go rap for a second mm-hmm. on yeah. someone else's shit mm-hmm. so yeah. I think that's how I want to hear him at this point he said Wazoo I think that's might be the first rap I heard <laughs> say Wazoo on the song oh come on Sky Zoo why you didn't rhyme that one <laughs> <laughs> he stepped right over that one yeah come on Sky Damn. Zoo that was, that was right by the rim yeah that was you. right there for you <laughs> um, what, what other music do we have uh, Anything else music related besides Glasses Malone telling us that uh, people deserve to die? <laughs> Joyner Lucas that? is somewhere pissed. Steamed. <laughs> what? I could have been Orlando Anderson. What the fuck? <laughs> I could have been. 
Did you see it? I could have done the perspective. I watched it. I did too. What'd y'all think? Of what? I need I need yeah, you to I, I need you to finish the <laughs> sentence before I answer. Uh what did you think? Okay, let's start. What did you think of this the song title? I don't like it. Well, what was this? I saw the tweet. Was that the song title? Yes, Tupac Deserves so. to Die? I think so, yeah. I, I hate that. I don't like yeah, it. That's terrible. I don't like it at all. It was all. clickbait. We can agree, right? Absolutely. That, they got me to click on it. I, I didn't listen, even know what it was. I can't tell what is and what isn't anymore, but whatever it was, I didn't like the song title. Yeah. Yeah. It was clickbait, though. But I clicked to on it. To answer your question. There you go. Yeah, but you know what, man? Glasses, and I follow Glasses, and me and Glasses go back to uh, Strange Music Tours. That's my guy. We've had a lot of great conversations. That's my that's my guy, man. Mm -hmm. And we've always disagreed about a lot of shit. Let me be clear. <laughs> but I fuck with glasses because you in you. fact didn't think Tupac deserved to die. I I don't ever think anybody deserves to die. Same. Agreed. Um Well, I don't know. No. Let I me don't. not stand on that. There's some people that deserve to die. I know some yeah, people feel like that, but for for me, Nah, nah, it's different for me. I ain't gonna get into it now, but that whole forgiveness acceptance thing and you having to live mm -mm. with something and what you pain you carry. No, no, I'm not I'm not into that. Because for you to say that somebody deserves to die means that something exists in you. It, that is what it says. Nah, I don't know about that. Well that's that's my if opinion. If I see if I see somebody molesting some kids, he deserves to die. Okay, and that statement would would come from whatever sentiment, whatever feelings come from seeing that yeah i mean it's kids it's like <laughs> I, I know so to a lot of people you would be vindicated in in that because of the anger attached mm -hmm. uh because of the hurt and the pain attached but you know that's not really to me anyway the best way to go through life to uh react off of pain and hurt and sorrow <laughs> in any circumstance that's, I see that's, where you're going. For, that's for me. It would it would say that something poisonous is still in me to want death on another person. I'm sorry. Mm. You okay, asked, Rory? I asked for a beer. Are you dying right now? And <laughs> I went to pick up thinking it was a beer that Savon poured me, and it was straight Jameson. So the way I drank it was like it was a beer. Oh, that's oh man. So now your heart is burning. Yes. Man. <laughs> you feel it running its way to your kidneys. Rory, about yeah. to be drunk? Oh, man. <laughs> Glasses Malone <laughs> Back to Glasses Malone uh, Glasses Malone has said some things he, he sided with Kanye during all of that Kanye nonsensical stuff I didn't see uh, that And was very vocal about it on his Twitter page And all of his DSPs On all of his socials <laughs> All of his DSPs all, across, Glasses, all, DSPs. across all of Glasses' his socials <laughs> He was very, very vocal about his support of Kanye Through his TMZ controversy and so forth and so on Okay um, I also want to say that he probably has some, he's probably said some, he's probably stood by Trump or tweeted some things in support of Trump. Like, I've come close to unfollowing Glasses a bunch of times, but I subscribe to, you know, to each his own. Sure. I mean, you can think whatever the fuck you want to think, and, and that shouldn't really affect too much on my side. But now, this here, and he did DM me for us to kick it. And I would love to kick it. I just don't know if I'm kicking it about this. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not with it. It's like I'm. It's like everything that I'm against. Yeah. But what are you not I'm, with? I'm against you... clickbait. Okay. Uh, I'm against saying anyone deserves to die. Mm -hmm. I'm against. I'm against angering a specific demo purposely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like trolling. It, there's too. I'm. I'm against trolling. It's. Yeah. It's too much intentional shit that I'm just. I'm against uh, shit. I'm against. Let, let me put it on me for a minute. I'm against promotion. So <laughs> let's, let's, let's not even say that anybody else is doing something wrong. But Joe is not the big promote market rollout tweet. So so the fact that all of this is intertwined in a career move, and I'm just against it. And then and then, but I, I watched the video and I listened to the song. And when I was finished, I was even more against it because. Okay, I could see if you you did that to lead a bunch of people who wouldn't normally have been led to something amazing. Mm -hmm. I didn't think the song was amazing at all. Okay, I, I thought, thought I thought, I thought, uh, I thought production on the video was was pretty good, but I didn't care for the song. I thought he would have behooved himself to take a page out of Joyner Lucas's book and attempt to tell the story without 
uh, offend, offending any one group. Mm-hmm. Mm. Why don't you try to get into? Because I thought it was an interesting angle. The whole, uh, well, let's get into the other side. Yeah, I did too. Pac is so, so applauded. So I, I at first I ignored the clickbait and what he said. I was like, all right, I, that's just to get people to click it. I ignored that at first, mm-hmm. and I thought he was really going to get into a really introspective point of view from Orlando, mm-hmm. the superstar where I'm from, the cloth not, I'm not, cut from. Not to I, cut you off, Rory. Did we even tell people what we're talking about that have, might not know? Probably. No, we didn't. <laughs> Glasses Malone. Glasses Malone, out of the West Coast, put out a song and video titled Tupac Deserve to Die. Mm-hmm. And it's a story from the other perspective, Orlando, Orlando's perspective. Orlando mm-hmm. Anderson, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Who is the alleged murderer of Tupac. And that's what we're discussing right now for the people that are just tuning in. Go ahead, Rory. Well, yeah, t- to the point of the joiner, you guys remember the, the video that joiner really popped off about that kid that got shot in Detroit mm-hmm. by the gang member? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought what was so great about that was joiner gave the kid that was in the gang, like, oh, I didn't really have options. This was my only, like, it gave another perspective rather than this kid just got shot for no reason. Right. And because you there can is make another case, perspective. Always. Yeah. So when the Orlando shit, I was like, oh, I mean, that's a pretty cool idea. Mm hmm. Because I'm sure there's a side from, and Glasses is, from my understanding, Crip and from that area, mm-hmm. thought he could probably tell a different perspective than the one beloved Tupac being murdered. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that case. He just told a story that we all knew. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. when I first turned it on, I thought, like when it, the story started, I was like, oh, is he about to use his street ties to give us something? Like, yeah, he thought he was gonna you about to fuck shit up. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, nah, not the same. Just told the story that we knew. Mm-hmm. And we just came on here having many podcasts ago and said if we never see another doc or bio <laughs> on the deaths of Tupac yeah. and Biggie. Oh, fam, go to Vlad TV. No. No. <laughs> no. Why, why? It's a beautiful day today. <laughs> it's a beautiful You're wearing a yellow today. hat. Why would you go to Vlad the, TV? The sun is shining. So many TV shows are great. <laughs> not just clicking on Vlad. Vlad do catch one every now and then when he catch a little sucker ass nigga to come on there and give him something. I don't know why you niggas keep going on there and giving him something, but whatever. Teach yourself. Do what you want. Um, I'm judging you. Um, <laughs> uh, so glad, yeah, yeah. Uh, will this song do anything for him? No. I'm sure to make people more aware of him. Just by uh, yeah, sheer, I mean, people uh, will be shock value. That's, that's yeah. the problem with shock value and clickbait. You're, you're now entering yourself into that genre of clickbait and clickbait happens every five minutes you you're just in that whole fuck shit of clickbait you better have some heat glasses my my opinion and listen nobody pays me for this stuff the attention you get is going to be moved on to the next clickbait because that's the crowd that you're now servicing and and not only that people that were introduced to him this way may not like him because of this yeah like if this is some people's first time ever hearing them that's fine yeah, but when, people, I don't like this dude. but when people decide to step out on that ledge, I would assume that that's a they variable that. they thought about. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, like I'm willing to take that. Mm-hmm. Like before me and Drake beef, I said, "All right, uh, they, you, you thought they hated you before." <laughs> 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 but fuck, see, listen, when you wear the hate proud though, it's like a weapon. Yeah, because like you, you, a million more of y'all can hate, but I mean, I'm hated already, mm-hmm. and and I'm cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, glasses. Nobody pays me for my my opinions on on these type of things. My, I don't have a uh, consulting firm. Uh, labels. Y'all do need to pay me. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Two. I I know. Do you want me to talk to them? I know. No, because I, I probably <laughs> I probably wouldn't take the check. I wouldn't Joking. show up. But uh. I do know too many of y'all fucking listen to this podcast and actually attempt to apply some of this stupid shit that we say on here. I know that for a fact. That's kind of my beef with some of these algorithms. I should get paid for the other podcast that my podcast leads you to. <laughs> but, um, damn, what was I talking about? Uh, consulting. Oh, yeah, I don't get paid for any of this stuff, Glasses, but I, you, to me, should be in the... You, I, I feel like certain rappers, it's cool... It's cool to look at another rapper and pull something from them. It's cool to identify something that you like and maybe could help you in your career from what another team is doing. Not even say another artist, because with every artist comes a team, there's a million people behind them. Trey from Houston. That is who I think that Glasses would behoove himself in pulling something from. Trey has been around. Trey the Truth? Trey the Truth? Yes. Okay. 
Trey has been around since he's been around for a while, long time since yeah. I got here. Yeah. <laughs> Before me, that's that's you never wonder about how some niggas just are gonna always be around. Trey always has a, a dope record, even if you're not familiar with him at all. Right. It's Shit always projects. It's all yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. always some. It's always a current dope rapper in the video and on the song. <laughs> like it don't matter that Trey is not the most popular of guys, mm-hmm. but Trey has been a real nigga for a long time. And being a real nigga for a long time, you develop relationships. This industry is built on relationships and real niggas somewhere in here. Yeah, they mixed in. They, they are. Mm-hmm. And glasses, I know, and I to be a real nigga. Mm-hmm. I don't understand how real niggas get caught up in these entertainment shenanigans. Trying to adjust to the new climate. You don't have to. Games. You don't have to. You don't have to. That's a choice. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about accountability for a minute. That is a choice that you make as an artist. And we ain't got to go, we ain't got to delve into that. Artists, you know the conversations you have with yourself and your brain, the sacrifices you will and won't make, the things that you do and don't want to do that you would, somebody will talk you into do. Come on, we ain't got to talk about all of that. Right. <laughs> That's a choice that you, that, that you make. He put that song, he came up with that title. He shot a video for that. He DM'd me and said, yo, I mean, he's active is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a, it's a conscious yeah. decision being it's, it's made. It's a move. So you got it. That's the eight. I'm Ted dancing. Mm-hmm. That's my bar, and I'm standing behind it. You have to live with that decision. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work out. But I mean, or did it, see, and this is where I get baffled when these situations come up. Or did it already work out? It did. You looked it up, watched it, heard it. Mm-hmm. I did the same. You did the same. Rory did the same. I'm assuming Savon did the same because he runs a good podcast. Eric, I don't know if he did, but it don't matter because now we have one, two, three, four, five out of six. Eric yeah. just watches to see the uh, the clean cuts and the edits. <laughs> five, five out of six. Hey, if five Learned, like, out the of lighting six, on that shot. Five out of six niggas in the room heard my shit. It's a success. Hey, if I walk in the barbershop and it's only but four of you niggas that don't know about this song we told my name, niggas, you the loser. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So maybe it worked already. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. it remains to be seen. I don't know what else he's looking to gain from it. Right. Yeah, that's always the other part. That's the it. other part. Yeah. Like, what are you looking for? Mm-hmm. Right. What's the end goal here? Yeah. Glasses said he's coming to New York uh, next week, and I'm moving around next week, so I don't know if I have the time to get with him, but that's why I fuck with Glasses. This is a debate I can have with him. <laughs> <laughs> I can say everything I'm saying to him, and he will be able to answer for it. He's not going to run. He ain't going to run from it. Right. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. So I would, like, I would like to hear that one day. One day I would like to hear that from Glasses. I probably went on a, a longer of a rant than no, I, I think it was good, uh, planned on. I'm sorry, good guys. Good I apologize. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you look into uh, YG's Area house being Area 51. Hey, <laughs> all you niggas that's going up to Area 51 yeah, yeah. after talking more with Bob. <laughs> yeah. After yeah. talking more with Bob. You mean watching yeah. the documentary? And, and Well, I watched the doc and I seen the video of the two biker dudes playing around out in Nevada riding up there. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, we're just adventure travelers. Yeah. Hey, the, the rifles weren't. Yeah. <laughs> no, they'll travel. The, the rifles weren't. Uh, the rifles weren't adventure. Uh, adventure travelers. No. So all y'all that are going, you know, when you land, you get you walk by the little uh, store in the airport. They all got the hoodie with the city on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just bring me back a hoodie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all I want is an Area Fifty One hoodie. Okay. To those of you that may make it, a keychain. Yeah, uh, maybe a magnet. An ashtray. Ain't nobody making it, man. You don't think nobody gonna make it? Nah. They gonna vaporize them niggas so fast. See, that's why my brain is off. I like, always... Joe, I don't feel too good. <laughs> <laughs> niggas gonna start this up. Y'all thought that was is a that movie. Mustard <laughs> gas. <laughs> Joe, I don't feel too good. <laughs> niggas gonna start. <laughs> y'all run out there if y'all want to. Listen, I was down. I was down nah, to go, I... but then Bob got to talk. Yeah, and I know. I was like, oh, Bob ain't had to tell me nothing. Bob got to talk about Bob, Bob said, this technology cannot be man-made. It's not from here. Like, oh, all right. Hold up, man. Yeah. <laughs> Bob starts they, telling you how yeah. it felt, the spaceships and shit. I'm like, whoa. Mm-hmm. They shot at Bob. Bob is, Bob is ill. Bob is super ill. Bob is ill. When the doc starts, I'm like, 
Well, we looked up Bob and when he said he worked here and at the school over here, there's no trace of him. I'm like, fam, duh. Right. <laughs> duh. You're not fooling me. <laughs> De- uh, yeah, they named him Dennis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course he had an alien. He looked like a Dennis. Yeah, man. Bob's that nigga. Uh, yeah, so bring me back Keychain. What were you saying, Roy? Uh, YG's house. Got we ain't off of music yet. No. There's a lot going on. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Too, was his house, someone was shot outside of the house? I don't want to put out false reports. Well, why don't you stop? Uh, well, look it up. <laughs> I'm <laughs> asking not my you. job. You were the one tweeting about how nice his house was, so I figured no, maybe no. you knew more about and, the situation. And, no, we, we, we spoke about this a few weeks ago, and unless somebody did indeed get shot at this raid, but I didn't read that. A few weeks ago, uh, an Escalade was pulled over, and they were involved in a police shootout. That Escalade was leased to Got you. Okay. YG, and, and a police member was injured or, or killed. Or not a police member. Somebody was killed. In, yeah, an innocent bystander was killed. Okay. Uh, so YG put out a bunch of tweets saying, yo, I wasn't there, yeah, nothing to do with that, but I'm, you know, all of that. And they're moving forward. So they, so they went, so they went to, to his to house find, now. Yep. And it said that he wasn't there, but this house is leased in his name. Mm-hmm. And some other gentlemen were there. It's a beautiful home. I have it's to say that. Yep. What a home. I was shocked at how beautiful that home was. Uh, and the cops were there, and they were raiding, and, and that's all I heard about that. Right. And then y, YG put out some more tweets to say, uh, oh, oh, those might have been old tweets. I'm not. I'm not certain. So let me not even talk about it. But yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Well, yeah. Prayers to YG in, in that situation. And whoever got shot. Be Hope careful, man. Niggas just gotta be careful. Every, yeah. Man. Like God damn. Like just, just be careful. Yeah. All right. O U T S T A N D. Which one? Which one? Six oh, bits. Oh man. The you can do it. There you go. Hey. Actually, you know what, man? Fuck that. Oh, uh, it's too hot. It's too hot. It's, it's it, no, it's it's it, it's too hot. As I was thinking about it, it, there's at least 10 different songs that at any black function will change the mood. So, it's okay. <laughs> Rory, how are you staying warm this weekend outside of being naked outside? <laughs> how am I staying warm? <laughs> the Pink Panthers running around. Yeah. <laughs> That's nasty. Yuck. The Pink Pause. Panthers running around. It's only that's, nasty. That's if me he's creeping doing, on the beach. Yeah, it's nasty if he's doing a theme song with it. <laughs> Luther knew this beat was fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Nike got to let it breathe it out, for a little man. while. Yeah. That's so dope. I didn't learn how to start letting the beat breathe until my career was almost over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's I'll put, a, I'll put 170 on this. Yeah, yeah. One second before before the verse, one second after song. I over. was I was listening to playing playing my part off of All Love Lost, and then it got to the third verse. I was like, "Fam, would you shut the fuck up already? <laughs> like, I do not. This verse doesn't even sound right." <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who's gonna man the grill at the pool party. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> Just please let your father do it. Electrician came, yeah, you know I mean, digging up some holes, got some lights coming out. Huh? Nice. Started a little playlist. Huh? <laughs> That's important. Huh? Talk about it, King. Rory, you have to keep your speedos on, nigga. Don't run around. Ain't don't no suns out, buns yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah all right. Wait till, the sun, wait till the sun go down. I'm going to light up the whole pool party. Oh, God. Pull the ass out. <laughs> suns out, buns <laughs> out. <laughs> yo, that is, yo, suns out, buns out. That's is nasty. pretty funny. That's nasty. Oh, hold up, man. Now I got to try to find... Somebody say something real we, quick. Are you going to call your man, Ja, so we can get a, uh, yeah, a recap yeah. of what happened at SOBs? This is definitely Wait, what, what happened Rory at walk, SOBs. Rory walking in like this, too. Mm-hmm. Sun's out. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I left some tannin oil here. Where'd you put that? No, nah, no. Nah, Where'd you put Yo, that? Nah, you put, I'm you definitely going to have breakaway pants on. 
disgusting. Hey, that's right, Roy. That's disgusting. Hey, him and Parks. <laughs> Parks got to break away jeans. Hey. Break away jeans. <laughs> Where'd you put that sunscreen? <laughs> Yo, why New York niggas don't know about this Jersey drip, man? <laughs> about this song? No, just on, just this whole this Jersey era. Oh. This this this. Why they don't play this at fucking Lotus? Oh no, <laughs> they're not playing that at Lotus. I got dubbed so many times in Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn. Yeah, I can't talk about them because they all married. Lotus now, boy, people damn. That y'all no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, they dubbed you for uh, their true love. Yeah, yeah. Got to be happy for them, man. Yeah. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> you really don't. You don't. <laughs> you don't. You like, don't. being happy is, for someone is overrated. Like, I've really never believed anyone. They say, well, I just want her happy even if it's not with me. They're lying. Yeah. You were lying. You hate her guts. <laughs> and I don't want her to find <laughs> yeah, happiness. At, at all. No, but then there's the flip side of that. Uh, sometimes... the as a dude, you encourage her to find a dude so she can get off your dick for a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's so leave me to, you've been acting like a fucking nut. I wish you find happiness. <laughs> you need to find a nigga. Go out in the world occupy, to find him? Occupy your time. My fucking first baby mom's want to get married when he's Trey 18. Yeah, <laughs> 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 she did it right. Man, fuck oh, out yeah. of here, man. I, no, I respect her hustle. Oh, now she can live her life. That's a G, that's a G move. Here, yeah. God damn it. That doesn't boo me at all. She a G for sure. Boo her. Shout out to her, man. She's awesome. Hey, Trey, I love you. <laughs> anyway Okay What are you talking about? Cardi Cardi tweeted Addressing the She was tired of the The narrative running around That she drugged men And Press press press, press 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 Cardi don't need no press All you bitches running around press I don't need no press She doesn't But She wanted know, to address about, that I think about that Every time I want to interview her hits. Or every time I see her on press Yeah she don't need it she When need when it. her and Offset Were explaining lyrics To Fallon <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that Man the creative gurus Over there It was a cute segment though Yeah It was cute But anything that Them two do together Is cute because They're cute They're married Married people are cute like, Isn't it weird How that in, happens In the beginning No if you're not angry You're cute You are <laughs> married, married people pe- Are either angry Or cute And Drake Don't even ask Drake What he thinks about marriage <laughs> <laughs> Oh, another shot at Rory. God damn. I, can't, I just keep catching them. Oh, my God, Rory. You right. better hit Parks. Cue up the Novocaine beat. I'm about to get on my show. See, that line was about me. Yo, <laughs> that bar was about me. Damn, and I'm going to have to hold Rory down like he held me down. I'm going to be in the studio with you. When you I, I when appreciate you cook, that. When you, with you and uh, Emotion Oranges. Dis- district. <laughs> yeah, when y'all are cooking up. Ooh, Ooh. what Cassie record will they choose? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Some Ryan Leslie quicksand to get him out of here. No, no, Rory and Ma. Uh, yeah, I don't remember anything today. That's fine. It's, okay. it's Friday. It's Saturday. Yeah, Friday, yeah, Saturday. Cardi says she never says she drugged dudes. And- Didn't she say listen, she drugged dudes? Cardi, listen, you fucking, you imbeciles. <laughs> Cardi did not drug anyone. She only took the pills out of her person <laughs> and dropped it. <laughs> Maybe somewhere. Mistakenly. By, of course, because she would never do that on purpose. No, no. She's the fucking queen. So all of you stop with these stories. The narratives. The, yeah, f- the falsities. Is that a word? Yeah, sure. The falsities. It's just, it's irresponsible no, it's journalism. It's falsification. False, Shut up, Parks. False teeth. Just oh. irresponsible journalism, man. That's all it is. Yeah, come on. Come on. We got to do better. Let, let Elliot lead us all. <laughs> <laughs> she ended her whole shit with never did I force niggas to come with me nowhere. Uh, you when did as any woman ever had to force a dude to go anywhere? Right. Unless except, it was ex- to, to ex- crown. Except, except the target. Yeah, walk me inside. Yeah, walk me. Or like Sephora. Yeah, I'm not walking you in no crown. Say your girl nah, bitch, you I'm, I'm name, scared I too. A lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared and full. Yeah, sometimes so. you gotta tell a chick when you're scared. Sure, though. you gotta protect you. <laughs> no, go ahead. On, I'll be here. <laughs> yeah, where right you want, where you want me to pull a car up to <laughs> after you get your meal? You should have ate when I ate. <laughs> Fuck, niggas, fifty deep. You should be quick. Don't and wait. I, don't I, wait for them to make the new chicken. I fought one. Take of what's under the light. I fought one of them niggas in ninety nine. You hungry? Oh, <laughs> are you hungry? It's a granola bar in the uh, glove yeah, department. You don't even know how me and Thomas give it up when we see each other. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, 
Again, <laughs> what were we just discussing? Nothing. Nothing. Cardi one, said, one day this Cardi said she don't need no press. All right, now give us the mall deep dive. What was the standout in that release to you? <laughs> uh, the production. <laughs> Not the production. Oh, it's probably the sequencing. I, li- I like the way she uh, spelled. Oh. I like the way she spelled niggas. Well, that's cool. A girl drugging a dude. Me, yeah, it's wrong. Is it wrong? It's wrong. Okay. But women do a lot of wrong shit and they can get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like women could grab your dick right now and get away with it. Yeah. Nah, I might be mad if my shit smurmy, like my shit soft. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? My shit gotta have a What would weight. it be? Yeah, smurmy. <laughs> yeah, that's when your shit okay. like baby soft. <laughs> Cause, cause when it's cold you, out? Warm. Yeah, because then you liable to run around and be like, yeah, I grabbed this shit one night. He ain't working with nothing. Don't do that. Pool. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. I, I seen this chick tweet, yo, if, <laughs> if your soft dick ain't longer than your nuts, then just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yo, some of these chicks, man. <laughs> See, They're funny to talk like that. Wait, did I tell y'all how hard I laughed at that? Yo, that where you at hit different when you out cheating. Did I tell you how hard I laughed at that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny though. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious because it's true. I wouldn't know because I'm a black man. Right. But yeah, that's pretty funny. Because then you got to wait till you get to the safe spot, and if it's too long of a time, if yeah. it's too long of a time lapse between the where you at and when I can get to the spot that's safe to talk. Whoa, bunny. <laughs> what Not a, only that, what a rush. you got to follow up the where you at with the. Why? Where you at? Like you gotta ask oh, the other. You're one. brave. Yeah, uh, Maul's never <laughs> been in a relationship. Maul is crazy. <laughs> Why? Fuck that. Yeah, I know. You got to. I know. She's home. She's where she said nah. she would be. Nah. <laughs> it's you that's out fornicating. <laughs> fornicating. Yeah. And one of her friends done called you. That's never happened to me. But I'm black, so yeah. Rory, you has that never happened to you? <laughs> no, the f- I've never been caught by a friend. I hate the friends. I never liked them. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it because y'all ain't even friends. Shut up. Yeah, y'all really don't like each yeah, other. Y'all have, a, y'all have a group chat. Yeah, together. I could beat yeah. both of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should hear what she says about y'all. Oh my god, <laughs> I could beat both of y'all. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, but I mean, it's true. No, I get it. How many times does dick come between female relationships? All of the lot. Ninety-two percent of the time. <laughs> yeah, I would say you said ninety-three. Yeah, I thought. Oh, you're being nice today. Ninety-five. Ninety-seven. Really? Them bitches hate each other because of a nigga. That nigga hustling. <laughs> so, and ain't thinking yeah, about either one that, of them. He got a whole new squad. <laughs> he ain't about they somewhere them. still carrying on the beef. That's true. <laughs> but then you judge them when they want to be Eskimo sisters. Eskimo sisters. Remember when that slang? Where was you at when you learned that term? Uh, high school. Well, probably. Parks has family. That, really? That, that long were, ago? That were Eskimos. Yeah. It's been around for a while. <laughs> yeah, when I was in high school, but yeah. you guys were in your. I didn't know that that was an offensive term either. How was that Eskimo? offensive? I don't think. Well, I, how I should think the Eskimos feel? No, Honestly, yeah, it's offensive to Eskimos. Yeah. Oh, well, why is it's, it called Eskimo Brothers? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, it's I don't offensive know. to Eskimos. I don't know why y'all are listening to me. I'm just talking. But, but you but can't it, say Eskimo is offensive to Eskimos. <laughs> you can't say that. Man. No, you can't say. You can. You can't say that. That's like saying niggas is 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 offensive to niggas. Well, it's, it's supposed to be. <laughs> no, but you can't say that. Well, no, I've, I've, well, Jews well, are Rory, offended Rory, by Rory, Jews sometimes. Rory, careful! They're trying to get you. <laughs> yeah, they try to catch him slipping every, every week. Time. Every week they say Rory say nigga. He does. Does he? Don't do that part. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to throw Rory. <laughs> Rory wants to. Rory sure. wants to say it. Rory can't say. I remember Rory, Rory told me he never he never said it even that's when like lie. in private. No, I don't believe that no more. No, he I don't can, believe he, that. No, you can God. believe whatever. No, you Rory. definitely came in the house one night, like these niggas at Palooza's tripping. No, no, he, <laughs> no, 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 I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Never but done you that. definitely did. He, that never did. he definitely was rhyming twenty two twos and slipped like Nick. Oh, oh, oh yeah, whoa, 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 for sure, whoa. for sure. Basically, it's shook. Basie, it's okay. It's my guy, right? I'm sorry. Baby. It's a girl. We're just using slurs. Don't worry about it. Why do I always want to make the dog feel good by playing with their fucking privates? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they like that. They probably, fucking beastie they alley. Really stop, First of all, stop, stop raping see, my that, dog. That's how I know that he's not a real animal uh, lover. Because I don't play with my pets. Anybody with a pet, 
You come on, you did a little something down there, man. Made your dog feel good. <laughs> Hell no. I've never done. Well, you've never done it. With I don't a girl. want. I don't want to be a real <laughs> fucked up. You've never so committed. You, you got me fucked up. Nigga. That you hey, got me Mo, fucked up. If I'm not trying to see you and the dog, I'm trying to see you and a girl. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah I've we, done that. We ain't conquered that part. <laughs> no, I've done. Nah, yeah. You want to want to yeah, see me no, and a girl? You, well, I've done that. You were ironing by the time I was. You know what I mean? <laughs> Keep <laughs> saying that. Stop saying that bullshit. Get the fuck Wait, so out of here. We're just gonna. We're just gonna skip over. Joe jerking off Brooklyn at the crib. <laughs> no, that's why I said he's nasty. That's documented that I fucking uh, make my I know dogs you, happy. I know you make out. That's, ha- that's happy time. <laughs> that's documented. It's that's not- docu- <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, when a girl do it Wait, to me, it's happy time. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Don't, you think the girl, happy for who? You th- huh? Like for me? you? Like you enjoying that? Shit. <laughs> Wait, you talking about Brooklyn or the, the girl? Yeah, are you enjoying happy time for Brooklyn? Uh, you flip it on me. <laughs> Don't do that. Though. That's happy time no, for who? No, I want my dog to be happy. All four of your paws are just on the ground, touching the dirt. You go out there, lift your leg, come back in the house, eat some chicken and go to bed. That's been your life for 10 years? Nah, man. <laughs> Yo, Joe's an animal lover for real, That's for real. That's bestiality shit. Nah, man. Joe is nah, sick, man. Give a little pat pat. Little Pat Pat. <laughs> Don't pat shit. Brooklyn's on, balls, man. Little Pat Pat on the balls. <laughs> Go ahead. Hope you keep some Purell on you, man. <laughs> nah, nah, he lift his little leg up. He like that shit. <laughs> I bet. bet. He been getting it since he was a baby. He like, oh, I guess it's happy time. I didn't know. I didn't oh, wait, you did it when he was underage? Oh, 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 wait, you try- <laughs> oh, what the oh, fuck? You trying to make me a serial do- dog underage? Yeah. You made yourself no, that. Nah, nah, he was 25. <laughs> in dog years? Yeah, you waited. He was 25 in dog years. Oh, so you like the creepy oh, yeah, uncle at the bar. He was praying on him yo, until yo. he was of age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nasty. Have y'all ever been the guy to think because you're buying a chick a drink that she owes you something? Come on, be honest. No. Nah. Off, off a drink? Nah. A drink? Yeah, nah. Nah. Be, I, I never was that guy. Not a drink. Now, if you start a few dates, meals. Listen, that little gold. What? What? I forgot the name of the gold bar on 14 whatever street oh, that yeah. is. It's Mulberry. It's a drink over there. <laughs> it is. On Mulberry, yeah. <laughs> on Mulberry That's <laughs> my, my shit That's my spot Yo man Them drinks are expensive Yeah Oh anyway down there yeah. Then we get a little Anywhere pricey. in New York really There's a few spots That's still the Two dollar PBR But when you start going down there the Last lap <laughs> <laughs> That's why these broke ass niggas Being last lap like it's, I, like, it's like I a would, college would, bar. Yeah, they got the Tecate. Would, it's not that cheap in there. I would respect them If they yeah, did and that And he's right It's like, really not that cheap It's not that cheap in there I don't know what you're talking about it's regular prices. It's not that cheap. Yeah. Regular New York prices. Yeah. Which is expensive. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Rory just getting money now, so it's okay. Yo, you're getting a lot of money, Rory. Honestly. Not. Can we talk about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about it? No. Why we can't never talk about how much money y'all getting? No. It's, it's I count the heads at the Ducey's. <laughs> okay. And I see how many Ducey's they do a month. Okay. And I watch Rory to see his involvement. Mm-hmm. Okay. Give him fifteen percent. Mm, okay. And he's white. You know, he got to get a little more than Cam and him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you change your father the Palooza. <laughs> Do you hear the bullshit that I be saying uh, on so, the microphone? So, to so, people? so far in the last in the last maybe five minutes. I use the N-word all the time. Yep. <laughs> Joe jerks off Brooklyn. Yep. And now I am stealing from my partners. I do say Palooza. Yeah. Life is good. Okay. <laughs> Life is great. <laughs> okay. Life That's is the good. outline of a good life right Yeah, there. hell yeah. As a white boy, fuck yeah. <laughs> Get to say the N-word and make money throwing a party. And my friend jerks off dogs. <laughs> yeah. I have a friend that just throw that, that loop in there. Handy. You know what I mean? We good. In, in 150 years, there's going to be black privilege. <laughs> 150? And, and Rory great grandkids are going to have a hard time out here. <laughs> Wait, there's black privilege already. Licenses. We talked about that already. But so, What? When you don't have a suspended license, that's black privilege. Uh. Today, anyway. It's going to get better soon. Um, come on, what are we talking about? Let's stop talking about Rory saying the N-word that he never says. Thank you. Yeah, come uh, on, I'll shoot you some bail, because Maul keeps trying to create a narrative on you. Yeah, you guys <laughs> do need to stop this. Uh, what narrative is this? Ever since, yo, I'm noticing, ever since me and you kind of been out here, Maul been hating. Ooh. Oh, You're not what? hating on R&B, right? And no. the R&B party's coming up. Shout out Chris Styles. Yeah, no. next Friday. R&B will My. be in there. Okay, I'm not. I'm you not guys on the flag? No, I won't. I won't be in there. <laughs> trust, trust me. I'm B won't there. be there. No, okay. B won't be there. All right, B. <laughs> Maybe Brandon. B He's close enough. He don't go out. Oh uh, yeah. No, he been out. <laughs> really? <laughs> we be out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know what. I know what that yeah mean. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, well, come on, Rory. Segway King. Kale pussy. <laughs> Kale pussy. 
<sighs> uh, Not to be confused with stale pussy. I had, <laughs> listen, I overheard some people conversing. Okay. okay. Man and woman. Yes. Uh, I don't even know why they would have this conversation in close enough proximity for anyone to hear. Mm -hmm. Especially a guy in a yellow hat. Oh, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. However, You're hard to miss. Uh, the, the lady was telling homeboy uh, that she would like some kale mm -hmm. for dinner. That's the entree? And then, well, that's how it sounded. Okay. If you overheard. <laughs> if you were in the earshot, you was ear, you was ear hustling. Look at Eric said. <laughs> so she said she would like some kale, and then the dude said, "Oh, your pussy better be amazing." <laughs> Off the kale? <laughs> yeah, he was a weirdo. <laughs> what kind of man? Why would the pussy have to be amazing? Off and of it, kale. And and then he said, your pussy better be amazing. Uh, and I don't really remember what she said after that, but I was telling That's Rory. That's the important part. We need to know But what I was she telling said. Rory that I had overheard that. And then Rory raised a really <laughs> good point that I never thought about. We got to come clean, man. <sighs> no, she's coming clean. No, no, she's no, no, no. Kale no, for no, dinner. Just, no, I'm just hearing hear him out. I know then, what the and narrative then do, and then do the knowledge. I know what the narrative has been. Dice pineapples was a song. Chicks was eating cantaloupe on Instagram. Oh, trying you to show off bitches was so annoying. To show off how oh sweet God. it might be. <laughs> Can we just keep it a buck? Cognac and fried food pussy is way better than any fruit. No, no, no Any cantaloupe. Yeah. Any pineapples, any apples. Yeah. I'm you know, sorry. I fucking it's, endorse this fully. I'm telling it's you. It's better. He raises a group. I never this. thought about this until he said it. Like, yeah. pussy with the cholesterol. <laughs> it's better. It's it better. Might, like, give me the greasy pussy. Like, you man healthy <laughs> for what? Your pussy is trash. I don't know if it's, if the pussy is necessarily better. I'm doing some math in my head right now. <laughs> but and this... all math is leading to bad diet. Yeah, 1,000%. Yes. Nah, because bad diet, like the cognac and fry, like her pussy might be good, but like her butthole stink a little bit. More. I mean, you more, have to make compromises. More, more, more. Huh? Say, <laughs> huh? You with me? You feel me on that one? Say, fan, don't do that. Say, Vaughn just got back with his girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, Mom. like, the, Wait, no, pussy that, might be no, good, no, but like, that. the, the butt might ever ate Last week, you ate too much fruit, and you was sitting on Park's toilet. Like, the fruit diet, the, the butt be nasty. Bro, bro, <laughs> yeah, but that... No, hold on. I got him. I got him. Now, hold up, bro. I got him right now. More. Hmm? Why do you think there are two chicken and waffles in L.A. Roscoe's? That's a very good <laughs> This point. is your way to get them? Yeah, it's cornered. Yeah, but it, <laughs> it's also a smoothie bar on every corner in L.A. now. Not with uh, a bunch of guys and girls. It's a bunch of guys and girls at both chicken and waffle locations. Yeah, no, I get in it. In L.A. I get Safe it. Safe to assume when they leave Roscoe's, they're going to have intercourse. Yes. That's what I'm saying. The sex might be great. Uh, because more. of chicken and waffle vagina, more. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm more, just saying. More. Have you ever left... Katana or the club or maybe uh, Greystone. You was at Greystone. And then, and then Did y'all go get a smoothie? House, grab the ring. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Joe. Yo, you ever left Katana, went to TA's house, mm -hmm. grabbed the jewelry box out of the secret location. TA's I didn't house. Grab, I didn't grab the jewelry took box. The, took the LA Lakers 2010 <laughs> ring out. I didn't. Showed it to Shorty. Said, yo, what's really? She started <laughs> sucking you off. You off the ring. <laughs> yes, off the what's ring. Yeah. yeah. That's how rings that's work. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's a big ring. That's a sick ass chick. <laughs> no, it ain't. I, I wasn't on his team, that's Shorty. A smart <laughs> chick. <laughs> I didn't play for this team. I'm sorry. No. That don't matter. She don't know that. The honor Rodgers is getting it, getting it too. That's true. Uh -huh. That's a fact. <laughs> that is true. But no, you've never left the club, Yo, Shorty, and oh. grabbed a smoothie or grabbed anything vegan. No. No, you went, got some greasy ass, dirty ass food, and then yeah. you fucked. Yeah. yeah. And it was great. I'm with you on that. That's hard. Fucking a dirty chick. <laughs> <laughs> That's not hard. Like, you don't agree it's not, with... It's not hard nah, at all. Knock it's it mad off. easy. No, knock it off. <laughs> Y'all have all met the chick. You didn't agree with any of her life decisions. At all. And it word. didn't stop you. No, of course not. not. You're like, oh my God, you yeah. did that? I'm, uh, I'm going to fuck you. I'm going to fuck you and judge you. <laughs> I'll go a step further. I'll still fuck, but God the, damn it. The pussy be better with poor life decisions. Man. <laughs> big, big, oh big my big God. Shit. That's why so many niggas want it. Like, when you see a really bad tattoo, you know it's on fire. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, that bitch is a fucking G. Yeah. The bad cover up. Trying yeah, to cover up right. Trevor. I can still see Orr. She doesn't get along with her mom. If, if, if she live, if she live, if she live in a walk up building, that pussy fire. Of course. If she ain't got an elevator Whoa, in the building. Oh, why do you think yeah. so many niggas set up on the blocks in the Bronx? Yeah. I get it. If, if her first thing when you walk in the crib is, sorry, I didn't clean up, that shit about to be oh wet as fuck. God. That head fire. That head crazy. That's a fact. No, y'all, y'all, y'all on to something. Y'all on to something. Y'all on to something. I'll give y'all that. that <laughs> Let's little, change the narrative, man. That little head trick we was talking about uh, last week, somebody mm-hmm. called in and confirmed it's true. Yes. Mm. This is true. <laughs> Someone called in. <laughs> when they called. The what number line. did they call? <laughs> Joe's a sick nigga. <laughs> The podcast I like. <laughs> they, they left a message? <laughs> no, I answered. <laughs> when they called, they called the podcast and they said, it's true. <laughs> Yo, that's some funny yeah. shit. Right. I need the podcast. Bro. I just want to call. <laughs> you just want to call, right? <laughs> I want to see who answers. I want to call. That's so uh, funny. Oh, wait. Let's pause for a minute, please. Okay, back from the pause. <laughs> Welcome back to the... Um, so we were extremely excited a few weeks ago about uh, Eddie Murphy appearing in Seinfeld's Cars, Coffee, and Comedians Netflix series. Comedians and Cars getting mm-hmm. coffee. What well, same shit. Close enough. Listen, however you spell Tony, 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 you're correct. <laughs> Google, Google results be the same. <laughs> If you start with T-O-N-I, T-O-N-E, same shit's coming up. Um, and it's out now. While I haven't seen it, I, I, did, I, did, I did watch the three-minute Eddie Murphy clip of, much to my surprise, Eddie saying that he plans on returning to stand-up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Normally, when mega, 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 mega rich people tell you that they plan on doing something, it's done already. Yeah, that's true. It's already done. So done. When, he said, when he said that, I said, holy <clears throat> shit. Eddie Murphy might do stand up again, mm-hmm. like for real. And then he followed that with, yeah, but it just has to be perfect, which says that you're not doing the money grab thing that most of the comedians do from uh, companies like Netflix. Yeah, he don't need it. At all. No. <laughs> At all. Yeah, but still, it's something to be said for it. A lot of times, niggas do the money grab and they don't need it. That's true. So I want to I give him credit. He said it has to be correct. And hours later, news breaks that Netflix has a $70 million offer on the table to. Jerry Seinfeld for one. I mean, not Jerry Seinfeld, Eddie Murphy for one stand up, not a bundle, one. Mm-hmm. If there were a comedian to demand that type of ticket <clears throat> and to be at that premium, it's Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think we're going to hear any beefs about this one, like with all that Amy Schumer nonsense. No. <laughs> I don't think any comedians are going to come out and say, hey, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, no. Y'all going to sit y'all asses down somewhere. Yeah. Let Eddie get they this, got this one right. Yeah, this one and, right. And, yeah. And, and watch it. Yeah. yeah let Eddie get these, these M's off really quickly. <laughs> um, what if he do it and it's not funny? Ouch. That'll hurt. As, as a black community Yeah And a white community It hurt everybody, <laughs> everybody. It, it would everybody. Yes. Yeah. It would hurt us too It would yeah. hurt everybody No yeah. it would, that would Well hurt. every comedian In every interview That talks about Hanging out with Eddie Murphy Up until recent They still say he's the funniest person In the room In yeah. any room he's in He's still hilarious So I can see it I've heard the same I've heard that Eddie is Eddie And that means something When people say See y'all be saying that a lot Joe is Joe And y'all be thinking it's this But I take it as a compliment Like when you are so Uniquely you yeah. That in any room, you just you. So, yeah, I want to see Eddie be away for however many years and come back and still be Eddie. It sounds asinine to those of us that don't know how Eddie's been, but to Eddie, like to LeBron, there's no pressure in the game seven. I got to go out there and be LeBron. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Like, there's no, the mic ain't, like, how we looking at something, how Mike looking at it? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. we ain't looking at it at Kobe. Like, that is different. Eddie ain't, like, yeah. This is what he does. This ain't even transferred through his brain, all of this. What if Eddie ain't funny? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Give a fuck what Nutty Professor 2 did. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm me still yeah. out here. Yeah. And it was still Eddie next to Seinfeld, and that's tough to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Niggas ain't niggas next to Seinfeld. Only uh, Wale and Eddie. <laughs> the only test only two. <laughs> It's a wild combo. <laughs> well, hey, Wale was Wale. Hey, hey. Tra- Tracy was Tracy next to Seinfeld. Very much so. Very much so. Who? Who Tracy that? Morgan. Okay. You're on two podcasts in a row, me Tracy Morgan. Yeah. 
<laughs> Flowers. That was a good episode. That was a great episode. Really yeah. Eddie Murphy. When Tracy was on mm-hmm. Comedians and Cars. Yeah. yeah, it was a good episode. Yeah, he generally asked uh, Jerry if he remembered who Kramer was. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you remember Kramer? No, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I might go back and watch that now. Y'all might have tricked me into it. Yeah, it was a good episode. Has Jerry ever answered for the Kramer stuff? Kramer's on the show. He's on it. Yeah. They did one together. Did they talk about it? Yeah, they did. They would, but they say? From what no, I they, they would never be fun. I, I know, no. but I, I just want to hear somebody speak for it intelligently. They did. I don't remember what well, was said, but... We talked about his... Oh, thanks, white guy. Sorry, man. They did a whole episode on Curb about the situation. <laughs> they did. Yeah. I was yeah, looking did. for information for the people that didn't see. Oh, go watch it. Oh. Well, go watch that episode. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> it's Maddie. <easy. laughs> thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. What about the people that can't afford uh, uh, Apple TV or what's that other shit that the uh, people use? Red stick. Stick. stick Fire cam. stick. Fire stick. There's, there's a lot of bootleg sites out there. You can find it pretty easy. Red Just stick. Just Google. Uh, Thinking of red tube, my, you I'm, nasty I'm a, fuck. Oh, red tube? <laughs> Just Google the name and put put locker in Yo, some of my porns that I yeah. bookmarked, they're gone now. Damn. Yeah, man. Game changing. porns? Yeah, man. Porn is gonna get in some streaming shit Where soon. Where the fuck oh, do yeah. I find Tiffany Towers now? Yeah, we need this. We need the- <laughs> <laughs> Where are they now? Yo. We need the Netflix of porn. Ooh, when I get into my fucking early '80s porn bag, <laughs> I don't ever want to see a lot of bush. Options here. What do we want to do? We want microwave the lube. <laughs> <laughs> we want to heat it up, get it spicy. No, is oh, Brooklyn no. gonna be involved in this one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rory. Am I gonna do a dolo? Before before 2021, me and Rory will fight. <laughs> it's not gonna be this year. Next, not this next, year. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying he's working his way to the fight. Yeah. <laughs> With Brooklyn involved in this one. Oh my poor baby, man. I'm gonna breed him. He gotta, oh get, he gotta get some dog pussy. He does. He does. Ten years without pussy. It's crazy. It's insane. That's rough. But he's never had pussy, has he? Brooklyn, no. So that's how I feel about like my cat. Like he's never had pussy, so he doesn't know what he's missing. That's it. God. What's, what's the longest you guys have gone without sex? Cat is a pussy. That's true. Fourteen years. <laughs> Mom. What? <laughs> Don't offend Peter. Oh my God! That's what they call Sen- cats. Sensitive pussy. time. Sensitive time. You are right. sensitive. You time. can't refer to them that way, Mom. Hey, sorry. Hey, hey, Meg, sorry. Meg is a stallion. I'm, That's yes. not a stallion. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> People can be what they want to be. That's very true. You're right. The white girl was black. You're right. <laughs> I get it. What do you identify as when you go home? Black. <laughs> All right, what else? I'm a black man. That's it. <laughs> you don't go home and say, I'm a cow? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be something else? No, nigga, no. Maul's too cool to do anything outside I'm of himself, a cow. even Maul, at home alone. Yeah. Tell me what you do home alone. It's like, come on, give me something about you. He does definitely some weird shit. Come uh, on, Maul, you do, man. I don't, be, I don't do weird do shit, yoga? Listen to music. I'm actually Maul has to have yoga. one weird trait. Like, you must collect toenails. You must do something yeah. uncool. He goes That's to white boy <laughs> shit. <I don't laughs> collect toenails. Wait, you got G.I. Joe's? Collecting toenails. No. Yeah. Oh, Joe, you're white. Well, I got my toenails and pick it up, look at it, like, uh, you was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Why, man? Why? What is wrong with you? I do that, a lot of but, but I'm weird. I go to, I, I take a shit and stand up, like, oh, what did you eat? <laughs> but that's not that what's bad. That's got normal. You, you what's actually got are supposed to look at your yeah. stool. Okay, well, how about this one? Your stool. You ever was sitting down taking a shit and you were smoking something while you was taking a shit and then you tried the to cigarette be, came out try, of your shit? Tried to be smooth and put it out in the toilet and burned your whole balls off your body? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, never mind. Me never that, smoked that, no toilet. I, <laughs> I was just trying to see if y'all did that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, word. <laughs> nah, me neither. I never, I never burned my balls on the yeah, toilet. Just making sure y'all weren't weirdos. <laughs> trying to put something out. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Why isn't my toilet bigger? <laughs> Need more space right here. Well, I hate when you go take a shit at another nigga crib and he got the low, low toilet. Now, you're oh, knee, now your knees higher than your ass. Oh, God. <laughs> that's, good, that's good shit posture, though. It is. Now it comes right out. Yeah. It comes right out. Yeah. You it comes right out because you want to get up. <laughs> that's yeah, why I'm trying to get out of this bitch. <laughs> you I saw this people toilet in the, Home Depot. The cushion on, on the actual toilet seat. Oh, I hate that's that. nasty. And it's like that's the AC nasty. may not be on. That's oh, now, now you, now you Anybody that got a soft to the, toilet seat is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, now, that's the most unsanitary shit Now you're ever. sitting on niggas' ass germs. Yeah, like... <laughs> ew, ew, you got ass germs. <laughs> like, I'm weird. I don't even sit down in the barber chair like when the, the customer get up right away because it's still like warm. That shit is nasty. Yeah, sit in so the warm seat. Oh, my long, God. That's the nastiest shit in the world. Sitting on a warm toilet seat is definitely oh top my warm. God. Toilet. I, don't, I don't like when a girl lay on my side of the bed and now my cold side is warm. Yeah, it's trash. <laughs> I want to get into a cold bed. That's the best. I agree. 
Yeah. Getting into a cold bed is the best. Bitch, you yeah. got to move. Yeah. <laughs> you you, you got to warm it up over there. Because <laughs> chicks never know what they're doing. No, I want to this ice man. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Come on, I don't want to hear that shit. Fair. Go spray the cologne over there. <laughs> yeah. It ain't me. Go go it's, steal a hoodie. It's not my natural scent. <laughs> you have on my hoodie. Yeah, word. Uh, all right, come on. What's important? Nothing. Is there anything important? Something's important. Holy shit. God damn it, Joe fucking Biden. What'd Biden, you, what'd you do? What'd he, would you? No, not Jump me. Jump off. I'm huh? budding. <laughs> Glock for hire. <laughs> In the hood, they call me Pound Cake. I stay with the pound and cake. <laughs> Joe love that line. He always go back. He always go back. He's still looking for validation you know from why? it. Because like, that was hard, right? Honestly, there, no, no, not that one. There's, there's seven lines in my career that I was like, come on. <laughs> Can we get three? The Pound Cake line is one. Okay. That five, line, five Guys Burger. No, I, I like that line. Okay, it's corny. Yeah, but I like it. Okay, it's old. It's it's it's, it's cold, a, dad, it's a dad joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but the part that y'all missed, or maybe I'm just trash because I thought the two bars before it was really the one. The relish, five guys the was just like mustard. this verse is over. That's just like a icing on the last two. Uh. That's what it was supposed to be. But I'm trash. Okay, Got cool. You. Okay. Uh, I see what you was trying. Yeah, I see, I see how you tried to put your flow yeah, together yeah, right there. Cool. I see what you tried. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm just that. saying. I don't get it now. Now, because all this together. time I didn't get it, but now that you break it down like that, <laughs> I didn't break it down. <laughs> you broke down your Yo, ball. Now that you did the genius, that, the genius yeah. test. Yo, whatever yeah. that bum ass line was, and this was, I thought this was the greatest line ever at the time. And remember the Titans, where I fucking. Chopped his head off and ran downstairs to, to, to catch to, his fade. I remember that book. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are trash. <laughs> you are so trash. You tricked us all these years. <laughs> that right there should disqualify every dope bar you ever I don't said. Do that. That should disqualify every dope bar you nah, ever spit. but like, Shit. if you think ran about downstairs it, just to catch his catch fade. A fade. A fade. A play uh, no, on no, no, fade. No, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Because <laughs> you... Oh, because you know the haircut. Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Chop his head off. I thought maybe that had to be explained. Run downstairs just to catch his fade. <laughs> there's, a, there's three more of those. I, I, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't, we good. No, we good. <laughs> I don't, Let's not uncover any more of your hidden know gems. I am trying to share them. Yeah, no, we good. We good. Right now. <laughs> yeah, feel free to just tweet Joe with your... <laughs> All your favorite trash worst bars. bars. See, y'all gonna His make best worst balls. See, today n- now is gonna be the first time I play a Joe sleeper. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all playing. I got some shit. Fuck that. Uh, Joe Biden was in L.A. pandering to black people. Jump off. Uh, behind the behind the uh, the buffet at one of the black restaurants. <laughs> what is this after he valet? Uh, uh, serving uh, fried chicken and. Merlot grits. What are they doing? Man? I I want to repeat one more time, and I'm not going to stay here. This is not a political podcast. It's not. Joe Biden was at a rest a restaurant in L.A. behind the buffet with an apron on, serving grits and fried chicken to black people. Well, I mean, he is from Delaware. <laughs> I don't ever want Joe Biden's fried chicken. <laughs> or grits. Or grits. I mean, Hillary Clinton kept hot sauce in her bag on the breakfast club. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and when I was watching the Democratic debate, I didn't really like his Botox when the light was shining on his fa- <laughs> face. I didn't like his You're Botox. You were analyzing his Botox? I just didn't. That was the first time I noticed that. Oh, that's Botox, why he was in L.A. Botox was funny. But that, yeah, that's all I got. I just wanted to inform everybody of what Joe Biden, Joe Biden is up to. That's nasty. They're running uh, the same thing they did with Hillary. Maul, I did go to uh, wait. Part tell us more about who you about to get. No, I'm saying the, the hot sauce shit. If they're just doing the same thing. Yeah, they're gonna steal the election form. You know the uh, primary form. They're gonna fucking bump. He was Bernie trash in that first debate. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. With Joe Biden. Yeah, he but he'll him. get so much press that it won't matter. The Democratic at this Party point. is fucking idiots. I'm rolling with Bernie, man. Me too. Until Phil AOC the can step up. Feel the burn. Bernie didn't need a blunt though. Huh? <laughs> he need a blunt. He can relax. That's what he's pushing for. He, 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 he's pushing for the blunts. Thing, yeah. Yeah, he, he's he, he, pushing for the blunts. He needs some wedding cake fast. Yeah, <laughs> he's pushing. Bernie for be it's mad. Nice indica. He be mad at the happy questions. I like. I ain't getting into it. But goddamn, Bernie. What do you think is great about America? I'm not doing it, Bernie. Um, 
where was I? This podcast is all over the place. There's no cohesion. But it I got to give it to y'all. The fans have added me and made their voices heard. <laughs> <laughs> they, they called the hotline? <laughs> yes. Yes, they have. They called in? Yes. And Joe Parks. answered the call? <laughs> yeah, he did. Parks. What's happening? Uh, the, <laughs> it's a shame that none of y'all answered the, hotline, the podcast hotline. <laughs> You're right. I don't we, think we I'm on a family better. plan. No, we got to do better. We got to answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> we have to answer the phone. Save on. Push the, push the, push the calls through. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know it's your phone. We we clear. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, we, we check the exact, DMs. We, yeah, we know DMs exactly before. where all the calls go. All the FaceTimes. Oh, no, we know where they're they going. It's a lie. Listen, if you want to call up the podcast hotline, feel free. It's the only number that you have to guess, but I'm gonna answer. <laughs> oh, that actually might be a good idea. Like we should post something on the page, and have like random people FaceTime. Yeah, like more Mondays. And they could just talk to more. Wait a minute. If we doing more Mondays, you got We're not doing more Mondays. Hey. Man. Fuck out of here, more Mondays. You heard, all on the hotline. You heard him on Dead President. <laughs> this is a classic record. It is. This is a classic. That's a great pool party record. Hey, hey, you can't cut this off. I hated them niggas, but this was hard. <laughs> that record is dope. Man, suck. Hey. I did go to the orthopedic uh, surgeon doctor guy about my shoulder. Good. Brisitis. 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 Oh, so you didn't tear nothing? No. Okay. Brisitis is when the tissue between your collarbone and whatever is under your collarbone is inf inflamed. Oh. Oh, so you... Simple. They, they pump some steroids in there. They froze the area, put a little steroid in there. I feel like I can fight again. Yeah. Nice. I can fight again. Until the cortisone wears off. Nah, he said if I'm still fucked up in a week to come back, I'm going to do MRI, but it feels good. Okay. Good. Good Hi to know. As soon as I left there, I hired a trainer. Smart. Good. Uh, who did you hire, Joe? <laughs> well, with training, <laughs> it's important. No, I asked a direct question. With, and, I'm I, not, and I'm answering. Okay. With, and, with, and with training, much like therapy, mm -hmm. it's extremely important to find someone just who fits you to a T. Uh -huh. um, What's her name? I needed someone that was going to push me. Someone I would be able to identify with where they come from. Someone who would feel me uh, on a personal, deeper level. So, Tretch? I don't know how I... Uh, Close. I was on Instagram. I ended up uh, on Felon Fitness's page. Uh, I'm sorry? Shot him a DM. He replied. He's hired. So I'm going to work out with Felon Fitness soon. Okay. I'll keep you guys posted. All right. That's what's up. Yeah. Health is wealth. Rory thinks that this is the funniest thing in, in the universe. <laughs> that you're about to work out with Felon Fitness? Well, probably because I show I did show Rory Felon Fitness. Is he I'll, a felon? I'll show you guys. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't ask you him. Know, you I'm, not, ask. I'm not asking. Uh, yeah. No, nah, that wasn't a freestyle. <laughs> All I know is Joe's going to be doing all the yard workouts. Yeah, no. Oh, so he's a mad, fella. Mad pull-ups, no just legs. Push -ups. <laughs> listen, <laughs> no listen, legs. Listen, man, I'm just going to show you. Uh, so he is a felon. Okay. Don't do that. You don't know his background. He said he's going to be doing the yard. Don't all you? I know is this is a move I've never seen anybody do. <laughs> Anywhere. You want to do this move? Hell no. Are you kidding me? You take a, Go ahead and take a gander. Chill Parks. Mm, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've never seen anybody do all that, and I'm not gonna try to do it. Sure, you are. Sweet. No, I'm lighter not. weight. No, I'm not. But I'm very anxious to get in the gym with uh, Felon Fitness and see what's going on. Fuck Rory. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm happy for you, man. Listen, Rory's right, got a personal trainer. I've seen the vids. I, I, yeah. need, I need my. Been killing you gotta it. get your pool party bod ready. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> pool party bod. <laughs> <laughs> Hot boy winter. Nah, not in the winter. We're going to need a girl in the winter. <laughs> well, you got a girl. <laughs> you got a fiance. Remember those? 
Uh, all right, come Jesus on. What are we Christ. talking about? Uh, do I have to? Do I have to get into uh, the segment? I've, I've been watching close for probably about a year and a half now, but we have to get into uh, our Sway Lee updates, man. Oh, what do you got for us, Roy? Sway Lee, he back Sway at Lee it? relationship correspondent, senior correspondent here. You checking in with you guys? Yeah, it's him. I thought you were going to introduce yourself. I am. Oh, okay. It is I. I am him. Oh, no. I thought you were going to do it like the third person. <laughs> Sway Lee and his girl are back in the news. Apparently, Sway Lee was jonesing about with one of Russell Simmons' daughters, and she she posted on Instagram with a picture with him and said, found my alien from Area 51. Oh, bring me a uh, <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, Sway Lee's girlfriend of on and off of about four years now mm. was not happy and no. sarcastically, with a bit of spice and text, said, is she trying to eat my pussy too? Mm. Mm. Maybe she is. That then sparked off some responses from the entire Simmons family. Oh. Mm. And trouble. now we are kind of left in limbo on where Sway Lee and his girl stand. And the Simmonses. And the Simmonses. And they did mention, I would tell you to come get your man, but he's not yours. And you guys know how I feel about this relationship. The when one. they're off, I'm off. When they're on, I'm on. That's another one was the hardest tweets ever. Uh, the why in your man is silent. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, <fam. laughs> That's that is horrible, shit. by the way. But I mean, fuck it. Bitch, it's crafty. <laughs> so yes, I will I will be paying attention closely. I will keep you guys updated as I have been for the past two years in this podcast with Sway Lee and his girlfriend and their relationship status. Yeah. I just want to let you know that we appreciate that. <laughs> That's really kind of you, Rory. Yeah, man. Come on. Gotta give the people what they want. Yeah. They was they wanted that. They did. <laughs> The street's been asking for it. Yeah. yeah. He's like, what's up with young Sway? I, we're invested, man. Yeah, you're right. We're invested. The ups and downs, man. Niggas Just want to see them win. Niggas ain't seen Jimmy in a minute. <laughs> Don't beef with him again. Nah, I'll fuck with Jimmy. But where's he at? <laughs> call him. I don't have Jimmy's phone number. Oh. I will call him. I nah, thought you had a You call him. somebody. Can we get it? Can I, I would can y'all start calling people in your pocket? I don't talk to my mom. My I dad. actually wanted to call Saint. <laughs> Artists. And congratulate Say, him no, on no, the, don't on call one of your fucking rap friends. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who you want me to call? A girl. And talk about what? Y'all. <laughs> no. That would be a good segment. I think Just so. Just to call a girl and talk about us? One, one that you've had a relationship with? Yeah, I want to hear. Keep her anonymous. MC8. Parks can like change huh? her voice or something. What? What MC8 got to do with it? I don't know. Because he's an eight. <laughs> 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 Wait, hold on. Whatever. Shout out to eight, by the way. <laughs> His initials are MC as well. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Whoa. No, Wally, not. Wait a second, okay. Maul. Maul, why the fuck didn't you tell us this was happening? This wasn't happening. Nah, <laughs> Maul. Yo, I didn't even peep that. Roars. Maul starts with an M. It, it does. does. And his last name. Clay <laughs> starts with a C. Mm -hmm. And you have been a straight up menace. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. MC8. Oh, you had a fucked up childhood too. <laughs> no, I uh, didn't. Come on, Mo, you know the word. No, I didn't. Have a fucked up childhood. <laughs> childhood was fine. Uh, my childhood was great. I had fun. I had hey. Fun. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> Maul didn't escape. He lived in the same spot. <laughs> no, no. be scheming off the top. <laughs> oh, man. Ma, you MC8 now. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> you don't want to be MC8? <laughs> no. There's but only one MC8. But your dick yelp was eight. And your initials and are MC. You are MC. <sighs> that dick yelp was false, man. Oh, it could be eight ball. Wait, are you no. suggesting you're a nine? No, I'm not, no. I'm not <laughs> suggesting anything. <laughs> I'm not suggesting anything. Are you trying to say that? Too rich you? for who they just got rich again. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> nah, come on, Maul. For yo, real. Why you just, <laughs> yo, you got like the most random playlist. Yet. They did just get rich again. Who? Whoever you was talking about. 
Oh, we know. They was broke. <laughs> Kanye. I'm supposed to get with Sean next week. Talk to him all. Oh, eight, eight out bitches, of ten. Bitches grip the mic. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yo, uh, damn, I just forgot what the fuck I was about to say. It doesn't matter. Sean, something about uh, Sean. Yeah, no, I'm supposed to get with him next week, but that's fine. Uh, who is this? Which, which Sean? Uh, Sean Smith. Oh. Oh, what's up with Sean? No, I was talking about Big Sean. I don't want to say it. <laughs> oh. Um, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Let me see here. What is important here? Oh, shit. Yo, I have a question for you guys. And we're at two hours, and it's Saturday. It's hot out. This is a long, it's a long podcast. I don't care, but I do have a question yeah. for y'all. I want to hear the last thing that you guys argued about over the principle. <laughs> I want to hear the guy principle. My relationship. Are you talk about relationship or in life in general? Period. Period. Uh, what was what was the guy what the principle? I want to hear guy principles about what a menial amount of money for me, money that I don't particularly need, but someone owes me and they needed me to do something else. Like no, you owe me mm. a menial amount of money from however many years ago. Years ago, damn, he think you pussy. Yeah. Now you gotta send it over. Yeah, send it over. Maul, how about you? I don't even know what you asked him. All right, Rory, how about you? <laughs> how about you? <laughs> what did you ask him? All mine have to do with my relationship, which I will keep to myself. The last, oh yeah, smart move. <laughs> last, the last uh, uh, beef you had over principle, over principle. Like I wanted to hear guy principles. The last beef, um, argument, disagreement, dispute. It probably was money. Yeah, it probably a money thing. Okay. Like somebody owing, and not even me, but owing somebody else money. Oh, the friendship principle. I see. Mm. Yeah, it's like, yo, yo, that man some money. I'm gonna pay TA, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Phoenix. <laughs> no, they paid him. <laughs> yeah, no, they paid him. They did pay. They paid him. Is he staying there? No, he just signed for two years, Sacramento. Mm-hmm. Oh, good for him. <clears throat> the NBA's gonna Get to be the, uh, the NBA's gonna be entertaining next season. It is. It really is. Oh, I'm, I listen. I'm. Re- oh shit! I gotta check my little private fantasy football shit. They drafted today. I mean, uh, what? Let's, let's see. What kind of sickles are drafted in? No, not, no, they didn't draft. Uh, they did the, our lottery to see who picks what. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a little different. Uh, let me see my pick. Let me see my pick. Oh, shit. Is that me? I think I'm the mission. I got the first pick. Ah! <laughs> hey! That's right, you bitch-ass niggas. And I'm moving it to 12. <laughs> and I'm moving it to 12. Because of that stupid fucking rule, y'all. Guy. I hate that rule. Uh-uh. <laughs> Okay. Saquon might go crazy, or maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> I would keep it. Who would you pick? Uh, Who do you think will be the uh, the overall number one pick in most drafts? I, I'm going with Saquon. Saquon will probably be up there. Uh, I'm niggas, not, I niggas, think niggas, about it. niggas don't know about Le'Veon. Yeah. You're not going with a receiver. We don't know about Gurley. Yeah. Uh, Kamara. Nope. Be up not there. a one. Not as a not as, not as number one. Uh, hmm. Damn, I got the first. I, just, I think about hey, that. Where this phone thing at, man? Did I get the first pick on these niggas? Where's the plug? That's not it. With we'll Odell it, it going, me. Saquon's gonna get some touches. Oh, Are we recording right now? Yes. Yeah, we're always oh. recording. We're doing a podcast right now. <laughs> I told you we're still chilling. <laughs> no, we're recording. But when do we oh, start recording? We're supposed to be doing sleepers right now. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, these guys love playing music. They weren't outside for. Well, I was outside. <laughs> I, I actually experienced these records. Whole different vibe. Mm, okay. Specifically speaking to Maul and Parks. <laughs> oh, another one bites the dust, fellas. That's it. Yeah. Another one down. Good one today. Yeah, I like today's I like today's episode. Yeah. Another one in the game. I hated our last episode and the fans liked it. Yeah, same. I hated, I hated, I always, hated I that hated Wednesday hated episode. Jesus, that, that, that was so trash. And the fans like, this is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> the episode was trash. I'm like, go Parks. We must have did some amazing punches. <laughs> <laughs> Maul, give me, uh, give me your itinerary in L.A., man. What's her name? Lisa, Angela, <laughs> Pamela, Renee, Bossa Nova. Uh, cookies. Ra- you met her around, at the I'll be around the ice way. cream parlor. No. <laughs> mm, you do like ice cream no. and parlors. <laughs> I don't know about parlors. Like you going to wear the no wife shirt to the, to the date? So she can ask it. Hey, why don't you have a wife? Yo, it's difficult. The white button. The white <laughs> Yo, button. Yo, my down. lifestyle. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's his conversation starter. <laughs> yeah. The white button down with the chains out. Mm. Have to. Mm. 
but he put the chains like under the Sunglasses. collar. Oh, what's she gonna do when? <laughs> what's she gonna do when Ta pull up? Dress shoes with the ring. Yo, I brought, I brought my man's with me. <laughs> I brought my man's with me. You never Y'all brought your man's with you on the no. date? <laughs> no, no, nigga, no, no, not at all. Nah, you tried that. I brought my man's with me yes, on a date. Have. Get the fuck out. Nah, of sometimes it's a date for her and her crew and your, you and your crew, and you the guy to set it up. Mo, don't act like this is adverse. What I'm saying, it's very. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm trying to understand. It's common. I'm yeah, trying to understand word. what you're saying. I don't. I don't that's not it's a date. mad rap. Rap lines about this. It's not a date. What's the biggie line? Your crew, Puff, my crew, and we could be friends. Shit, yeah. we could do this every this weekend. Oh, lines. but that's not a date though. That's not considered a date. It's a double date the, uh, with her friends. <laughs> that's the Triple more date? than double. Yo, next week, next week Wednesday, we're gonna have a conversation about the the crew. <laughs> And what I mean by that is, like, the girls, when y'all trying to turn it up, y'all know the girls to call. <laughs> and like, it's not your best friends. You, no. no. You, you know <laughs> Well, your, sometimes it's the best friends. Sometimes. I mean, but you know your turn up crew. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We they know. know. We, got, we got one day. You know the gonna, Cabo crew. Yeah, you know the crew that's just hoes. <laughs> you got the whole friend that's going to get y'all in the club. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. She <laughs> get gonna, y'all the on, the, on the boat she in, does, the, in Miami. She'll suck anything she has to suck yeah. for the betterment of the crew. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's an underrated friend. Very underrated, underappreciated. Yeah, people real, appreciate real, her. Real American hero. <laughs> All right, man. Celibate summer continues, man. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know the vibes. We have on a yellow yeah, hat. I... What that mean? Nothing, bro. Don't do that, Rory. Because I told you what it means last night in privacy and confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I told Rory that yellow is when I get spicy on him. Mustard. Like all my normal dad had when it's just the black. Nah, it's regular. Yeah, you know I mean, but the yellow. Yeah. That's, that's, you that's your six inch heels right there. <laughs> yes, six. I'm thinking eight. That's your lace front. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yo, listen, man. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments past, so let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there and do be advised. She is not cute. She's not fine. She's just young. She is not thick. Uh, she is on her tippy toes. She yeah, doesn't have uh, hips. She's just crossing her legs. She's not funny. She just grew up with brothers. <laughs> Y'all are sick. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Yo, she just grew up with bro. Yo, don't bring your brother jokes to me, ma. So now I'm laughing excessively at some nigga. Don't fucking do that. Until the next time, we'll see y'all Wednesday. Hasta la vista. Arrivederci. Adios. Peace. So long. Goodbye. Deuces. 100. Uh, see you when I see you. Peace, man. Everybody stay safe out there on your travels for the weekend. Hey, cool. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, please, please, please stay cool. If you need a pool to jump in and you have my phone number, hit my line. Remember, I say that as platonically as possible. <laughs> as platonically as I possibly can. Until the next time, we are out of here. Let me hit my drop on these hoes. No, no. No, Joe Biden.